Say what? Say what? Say what? What's happening, black man? I know, I know, I know, I know. I've been taking care of things, you know. Y'all know I have an, uh, an, another channel, my main channel. I've been on that channel. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I, I have to come back. I know I, I've seen the comments. Before I start this video, I want to say this, right? If you if you go to if you find a channel and you think it's me, but you don't hear my voice. If you go to a channel and this AI generated voice that it's not me, OK? It's not me. You know, it, that it's not me. I've been seeing uh, a lot of people thought, uh, you know, uh, you know, a couple of channels. They thought I was involved with these. Cha no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. But with that being said, right. Let's get to this right here. This is hilarious. I watched some of this and this is hilarious. The. The host is uh was from Pop the Balloon and I think her name is Amulet. I, I could be wrong, but he was on her her uh, Pop the Balloon. He did his own and I gotta say this prop besides besides, you know, uh besides uh, you know other channels that probably do moderately all right he is probably the best host for this type of content and the reason why i say that is because he wasn't obnoxious he wasn't trying to be extra only thing extra i think is is it, i think that's a wig that he wears <laughs> it's hilarious but you know it, it's his character and I got to say, he's he's probably the best host for this type of uh, this type of content with the pop the balloon, because now one time I thought he was just being extra and the video. I mean, the, the channel, his channel is called The Last Talk Show. I'm going to put the description of this video. I'm going to put the description of this video um, in the uh, in the uh, description. <laughs> I'm going to put the. I'm going to put the link, excuse me, I'm going to put the link to the video in the description. Um, and without further ado, let's get to this. And I want y'all to listen to th this is hilarious. This is hilarious. I didn't see the whole thing, but check this out. Hello, my name is Rhonda Bankston. I'm over 60, believe it or not. And I'm looking for uh, I a believe real it. one. Hi, I'm Rhoda. I'm over 65 years and I'm looking for a real one. Hi, I'm Linda. <laughs> I'm 60 as of yesterday and I am looking for a real one. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm 67. I'm looking for a guy who uh, likes to do things like, like I'd like to do. Hi, my name's Patrice. I'm 65 and I'm looking for love and I'm looking for the real one. <laughs> Hi, my name is Joy Demain. I'm over 60 years old and I'm looking for the real one. Hello, my name is Henri and I am 64 and I'm looking for a real one. Hi, I'm Stacy, 58 years old and I'm looking for a real one. Hi. My name is Sharice. I'm over 65 and I'm looking for a real one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to yet another episode of A Real One. I am here with some very special ladies, some very lovely ladies that are here to find a real one, here to find their man, their boo thing. Uh, ladies, are you ready for this? 
All right. What's going to happen is you're going to have single gentlemen come up to you. They're going to walk up. They're going to say their name. They're going to say what they do. They're going to talk about some of the things that they like. If you're not feeling that individual for any reason, look, something they say, something, whatever, feel free to pop. Feel free to pop your uh, your heart, which means that you're just not feeling them. And the, the real one connection isn't there. But if you are feeling them, hold on to that balloon. Because if you hold on to it and you're that final one, you found yourself a real one. And we'll, uh, we might even pay for your date and things like that, okay? Uh, McDonald's or Roots Chris. We'll see where the, where the real one connection goes. Uh, I think we're ready. Ladies, one more time. Are we ready? Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's bring out contestant number <laughs> one. Contestant number one. Come on in there. Hello. You could stop right about there. Hello. How's it going? Going good. How are you? Good, good. good. Tell me your name, your age, and what you do. Uh, this is Martin. I am 66, and I'm a retired insurance executive. I love that. Retired insurance executive. Okay. Ladies seem to like that. Tell me, uh, what are you looking for in a real one? Uh, someone who's kind, uh, cultured, um, fresh. No, wait a second. I'm talking about my breakfast yogurt. Um, <laughs> oh, uh oh. Someone wasn't feeling the yogurt. Okay. Tell me some more. Um, Just a few more. Financially independent. Mm. Okay. And have their, you know what together. Mm. Yes. Oh, oh. Have their, you know what together. Some people. Okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, let me ask you one more thing. What are some of your red flags then? What is, uh, something the, that if no, someone you, does you know one of these together? things what in is, a relationship, it's a no-go for you. Uh, it's, you know, real signs of insecurity and, yeah. and acting crazy and stuff like that. Mm. Mm, okay. Some of us act a little crazy. Okay, we did get a few pop balloons, so let's uh, come on, walk on over and see sure. what these real ones are thinking. Uh, hello, can you give me your name, your age, and why you popped? My name is Sharice. I'm over 65, and I popped because he used the word crazy, and other people have used that word describing me also. Kind of annoyed me a little bit. Sorry. Okay. I love him and apologize, though. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, now then let me ask you this. Now you're 65. That's he says 65, right? If you if you've been told that you're crazy and 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 you still at this age, maybe you shouldn't be up here. Right? But I, 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 I don't know. Now, before he I used the word crazy, is, was he someone you were feeling? Was he your type? He's a nice looking guy. Let's get Thank that nice looking you. guy facing just a little more that Thank way. You. Yeah, so that camera can see how, how lovely he is. Uh, and was she someone that's your type before she popped? Or is she your? Probably middle of the road. Middle of the road. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> middle that of is the road. Problem. Thank you so much. Let's walk down to some of our other. Uh, what, what does that mean? Middle of the road. Who? Who, who heard it? Middle of the road. What does that mean? Does that mean average? Uh, Bob's maybe. Hello. Would you share your is name? That the, is that the old school way of saying average? Your age and why you popped. My name is Joy Demain. I'm over 60 and I popped when you said you wanted the person to be financially independent. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you not financially independent? Oh, I am. Oh, so why, why is that a concern for you? Because... I wouldn't want that to be a reason that someone was interested in me is that I could be a sugar mama or something. Got it. No sugar mama. This man is 60s. Do you know what the term sugar mama is? Sugar mama, you know, sugaring, right? That's usually a older person spending, or, or you know, you, you know, uh, on a younger person. That, that's, that's what that usually is. Sugar daddy, sugar mama. They well, y'all y'all around the same age. What is he talking about? He just wants you to have your own money. No, no you, sugar mama. And you okay. should have it. You're, you're old. You're old enough to have it. We've been hey, doing what you That's fascinating. Like. Uh now before you, you he said that and you didn't like that, was he your type? Almost. <laughs> what was the almost? What what did it? Was it the the comment about financial independence? Yes, I just don't, you know, I don't think that that should be the primary considerations. So that makes sense. Now I gotta ask you: Was she before she popped, or is she still someone that's your type? 
Um, middle of the road. Mm. Yeah. We got some middle of the road. Middle ladies. of the road. would be a sugar daddy. So. Mm. Kind of mutual, though. The feeling mutual. Okay, I like mutual. First of all, first of all, uh, you, you know what? I'm going to shave that for You like me more because I am yeah. financially yeah. independent. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. See? Fascinating. It's okay. You are. <laughs> well, but did you, want, did you want a balloon back or you're okay? No. I am what I am. I am what I am. Let's move forward to the next am. Uh, can you tell me your name, your age, and why you popped? I'm Linda. I'm 60. And I popped for the same reason. Financially independent usually equates into cheap. So I also am financially independent. However, I'm old fashioned. I like men to pay my way on dates. Mm. If you was old fashioned, you was you would be married. You would be married. Why? Why do they, you know, this? When you look at. I want you to understand this is. Because you're going to see something late later, right? This is the liberal side of society. This is the liberal side of society. If she was traditional, she would have been married or still married. Maybe she's divorced. But you, there's nothing traditional about this at all. Over 60, standing online, waiting for a date and still thinking that you have options y'all are done I, I gotta keep it a buck y'all are washed and the men that are coming up here they don't have to date y'all this is what this is what society don't understand that society you know that part of society the men up there, they can date younger women if they are financially adept. If they are financially fine, if they, they're financially secure, they can date younger women. They can date younger women. You, and when I mean date, right, they have options because that's what men are valued for. They're valued for what they can produce. Their value for their net worth, their value for their pater uh, you know, their uh potential, their earning potential. That's not what you're valued for. You're valued for your youth. And since y'all don't have that no more, you're you're practically done. So any of these men that are showing up on this show, uh, you know, that's showing up, you know, uh, you know, uh to this uh to this show right here, if they're showing up. They're doing the women a favor because they don't have to be there. They don't have to be there. Y'all really aged out. But let's go. That's a no, that's interesting. Flag for me. A big now, when you said that, did that mean you wanted them to pay for the dates or are you going to pay for the dates? No, I'll... I don't have a problem paying. Mm. I just don't want to be the sugar daddy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Does that? So he's willing to pay. Great. So but that doesn't change. He's got terrible, nice person to talk to, but terrible posture. Uh -oh. mm. Terrible posture. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So so he's is he your type or because the, no. the posture? Yeah. Okay. Now is she someone that? This is crazy. This is crazy. What he's standing up straight. What, what would they mean by terrible posture? Look at y'all. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you want him to look like? What do they want him to look like? Terrible posture. He's standing up straight. He's not hunched over. What do they want him to look like? Fabio? This, I'm telling you, man, they're done. They're done. R.I.P. R.I.P. to K.S. He predicted a lot of this, and it's not even predicted. He saw a lot of this and was trying to, he was trying to warn 
a lot of women about this, you know, getting old, you know, going to the upper room alone. He was trying to warn them about this dying alone. He was trying to warn them about this. And, you know, this is them. This is them. This is this is crazy, actually. And that's your your type. She's very nice. Yeah. Mm, so not middle of the road this yeah. time. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Uh, can I get your name, age, and why you popped? My name's Patrice. And I'm 65. And the reason I popped was you don't really know what you want. You came out what? very insecure. Maybe the cameras made you nervous, but you were looking up thinking, well, what do I want? And I wanted this. I want. So I just didn't see you didn't have that secure internal security to say, I want this. I want strong. What do you feel about that? Do you agree? Or you... you want strong. <laughs> you better get whatever you can get. Tomorrow, you you might be gone. Tomorrow, t tomorrow, <laughs> the next ten minutes, the upper room is around the corner. You talking about him being what? Ah, uh, let's let's go, let's go. You, hey, fair enough. That's how I come across. But do you know in your heart you are strong? You're. I know I'm strong. Okay. I'm just not a typical macho man mm, macho village people okay i understand <laughs> macho uh, now, village. Is she's someone that's <laughs> your type she's yeah she's middle of the road yeah oh middle, so of, the road. middle of the road <laughs> uh, is he someone that's your type well you know if i got to know him maybe he isn't so insecure so you know he's got the height that's good you know he's got most of the hair that's good <laughs> good a smile that's good but the insecurity was you know first impression so that's where I stand on Go that. Ahead. First impressions are everything. All right. Well, let's walk it on back then, because I believe that we have a few balloons that are not popped, some unpopped balloons, which is a beautiful thing. Um, I'm going to see, do you have, uh, well, you know what? Let me ask you this. Uh, this is a really deal-breaking question. Only on a real one do I ask this question. Uh, religion or politics? Now, do those things matter to you in a relationship? Should someone be super political, not political, super religious, not religious? Share with that. That might make a difference. Yes. I do like someone who is open-minded hmm. and who is uh, on the liberal end. Hmm. And with respect to religion, I'm sort of ambivalent, but I would say I'm more agnostic than... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That'd be popping. Yeah. We did get a pop. It's a great question. I'm the only one that asked those kind of things. Let's come on down and uh, let's see why we got a pop. Uh, name, age, and why you pop. Hi, my name is Henri, and I'm 64. And I think you're really cute. I do. I, you got that height, nice eyes, the, the dimples, the whole thing is going. But I am deeply religious. You know... Why, why, why these old Keishas got to look like Ozzy Davis? They just got to look like this is the Ozzy Davis dude. Look at this, man. If you don't know who Ozzy Davis is, look him up. Are you kidding me, man? No, listen, men, no matter who they are, no matter old, young, one thing they like is their women with long hair. Men like long hair. Men like long hair. That's what men like. Men like long hair, long flowing hair. That's what men like. These quiches get, you know, get into corporate world. And when they mean corporate world, it's just a title. That's all they really care about. And, and before you know it, they get in the, they get in the Ozzy Davis. This is crazy. But at least it's not a wig. At least it's not a wig and a weave. Still crazy, though. I understand. Hey, that's just so you close. do you think you could date someone that's deeply religious or um you know as long as it doesn't uh interfere with who i am hmm. okay i think it's acceptable but you, do you feel you could date someone that isn't deeply religious 
Oh, no, because it will interfere. Because if you're really religious and that person isn't, it's not going to be a good mix, no matter how cute they are. Got it. Got it. Okay. Did we get a pop here? We got a pop? Oh, you still have your balloon. Are you hiding? Oh, okay. She's hiding her heart on her back. Okay, got it. All right. Well, that was an important one. Uh, we can welcome back. We still don't have, we still have some unpopped balloons, which I love to see. Do you have an essential question that you want to ask these ladies to maybe narrow it down? Uh, an essential question. Yeah, uh, what is um, the best date that you've been on? Hmm. Let's start here with name, age, and best date you've been on. My name is Rhonda. I'm over 60, believe it or not. And the best date... Oh, uh, we believe it. We believe it. I, I don't know why she, why she said... Yes, we believe it. We all wholeheartedly believe you. There's not one person saying, uh, wow, you... No, unless they unless they're trying to be nice, we totally believe you. Well, why they do that? I've ever gone on was the guy just fixed lunch and we went to the park and just sat to get to know each other because a restaurant may be noisy, a movie, we can't have a conversation, and it was fabulous. I enjoyed it. Very good. Let's go to the next uh name, age, and best date. Well, I'm over 50, and um, I would say that maybe that. the best date was when we took this fantastic uh, gymnastics class, and um, we did all kinds of gymnastics, and it was How just a lot of fun, very that? athletic, and uh, I loved it. Wonderful. What let's go this? to the next. We got two more. Let's figure out name, age, and best date. My name is Liz, I'm 67, and to be honest with you, I haven't been on a date in a long time, so I can't really answer it. What, ever in your life, you never had like a best date? Crazy. I mean, I did have a best date, but it's been such a long time ago, I can't remember. <laughs> you look crazy. What are you doing? Got it. Well, at least you know it was the best, though. Okay, awesome. Okay, Does that that's okay for you? Yeah, and uh, name, age, and best date. Hi, I'm Rhoda. I'm over 65, and the best date is always for me, dinner and a show, and we'll have plenty of time to talk before, during, and after. Mm, very like good. Mm, okay, well, let's back it on up then, because now I'm going to ask to borrow Patrice's toothpick. Uh, based on that, I'm going to give that to you, because they are holding out for you. You have okay. four lovely ladies. Okay. Uh, let's, let's just narrow it down uh, pretty significantly. I want you to eliminate two. I want you to pop two, based on what you heard, based on what you've seen. Um, I want you to eliminate two. Okay. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And then one more, one more. Oh, okay. Well, let's start uh, right here then. Let's start right here. Come on with me. Uh, why'd you pop her balloon? Um, probably not my type. Mm, okay. Tell me, what is your type? Well... <laughs> I've been married three times. <laughs> wow. Okay. But they were all kind of different. Hmm. You know, and I think it probably takes a little more of getting to know somebody mm. and get inside the head. Mm. And not so much, you know, beauty is skin deep, but, mm. you know. Okay. So how can you tell she's not your type based on the, since it's internal for you? Yeah. I think. Um, based on her response or? Mm. Just based on what i kind of feel mm, got it yeah. got it it makes sense all right well let's go down to the next one that you popped in uh, let's go down to the next one and uh tell us why you popped she seems like a heck of a lot of fun mm. <laughs> That's right. she may not remember it but uh <laughs> A lot of fun. <laughs> but again, the chemistry was mm, there. Okay. Yeah. Now, you left your balloon unpopped. He was someone that was your type. Yeah, he was until he uh, said that he was married three times. <laughs> and that if he would have said that right away, I would have popped my balloon right away. Why? Why? Who cares? It, yeah, I, I, I understand they're old. That's why you should wear age-appropriate uh, appropriate clothes. This woman, look, it, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. Look nasty. Hey, because that tells me he what doesn't. Are you, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You, you, you know, you're too old to be trying to 
to, to be dressed like this way too old and plus you're shaped like a sack of potatoes you know you're too old to be dressed like every you got i'm gonna give it the ladies up here the old the older they're dressed appropriate look at them they're dressed the way they should be dressed you come up there looking like this nasty very nasty doesn't know what he likes that's deep is she right about that do you not know what you like uh no she's not right about that mm, okay you know what you like mm -hmm. okay. you know she got she caught an attitude soon as he popped the balloon that no they, the rest of them didn't catch that caught an attitude all right, let's walk it on back. Well, I got you doing some walking, uh, but that's a good thing. You know, cardio is great. We have two balloons unpopped for you. We got two balloons unpopped. So uh, I'm going to throw it to the ladies and see if they have a question that they would like to ask this handsome real one. Do, do either of you have a question for him? What are you looking for specifically in a woman? So I'm looking for a companion for the rest of my life. Uh, someone who is retired or close to retirement and someone who I can spend all my days with and go travel with and have fun with and and uh, be myself with. I'm open. I have my passport. <laughs> Good. I do, too. Okay. Oh, oh OK. Uh, did you have a question, question down what? there? Uh, no, question well, let me let me let me go. The They got the old lady shoes. <laughs> Look at the old lady sandals. Feet are hurting. Look, look, look at this one. Got his shoes off. The old lady shoes right here. <laughs> uh, you can say that. Well, come on with me. Come on with me, because uh, <laughs> you might have. She does have a question. Uh, what's your question? My only question is, why haven't you hurried up and picked me? <laughs> I meet oh. the criteria, and sounds like you meet the criteria for me for a real man, also. Well, I think it may be coming. She ain't playing, Whoa, man. Oh, okay. She's not playing. <laughs> got, got three days. <laughs> I, got, I maybe got a week left playing around for well i will walk it back okay uh one of our final times walking for you especially uh do you have a final question for either one of them and if not i'm gonna have to have you pop one and maybe find your real one i think i'm ready to pop oh we're ready to pop who's okay well whose balloon whose real one are you gonna pop oh of what? course oh. of course he oh well, that was tough. tell me why tell me why you popped Rhonda's balloon. Well, I think I like the lady. They're both beautiful ladies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like them both a lot. I think I like uh, just the, the chemistry that I feel mm. is a, a little bit. Because she, she was proactive. She like, I ain't got time for all this. <laughs> Stop playing around, man. <laughs> We ain't got much time. She wasn't playing. <laughs> That's how you, listen. You you know, if you up there and washed, you, you better move like this lady if you're trying to at least be with somebody, be around somebody, you know, as as things start getting dark out there, dark continue to get dark for you. <laughs> You know, it's a little special. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Wow, okay. Well, let's have her come on up then. Come on up with me. You're going to stand stand right here with me. Yeah, you won't be needing that. Let me just ask a final... Let's step right here with me, just in case. Now, let me ask you this. These are some of my final questions. Uh, do you think that he could be your real one? Absolutely. I think he can be my real one. And do you think she could be your real one? I think there's a possibility. Okay, yeah. then uh, I'm going to say, can we clap it up? Because this is a real one connection. And they, and they, they look like they, they would look like a nice couple, nice looking couple, right there.
right? Look at them. They look like they mesh with each other. We got ourselves two real ones. So, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take that mic. I'll take that mic. Oh, boy, they're ready to go. And I don't think I ever seen a show, uh, one of these Pop the Balloons shows where there was a match on the first round. I don't think I've seen one. Maybe I did, but this was the first round. Oh, all right. Go on out there, folks. Oh, my Look, God. They clap, ready clap to go. Folks, clap. Wow. We got some real ones. Wow. Okay. She well, was ready to go. Let's get ready for our next she wasn't contestant. Playing. Wow. Very good. Let's bring out our next real one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you ready for me? Hey, hey. How's it going? Make sure we use that mic. Come on in just a little more. I'm going to invite you. Uh, tell me your name, your age, and what you do. I'm Rick Davis. I'm 77, and I'm a consultant. Hmm, a consultant. Okay. Uh, consult me on this. What are some of the things you're looking for in a real one? What am I looking for in a real one? Mm -hmm. For someone that's sexy. I'm looking for someone that's sexy, that's fun, that likes to travel, and that enjoys the finer things in life. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, and what are? Oh. And what are some of your red flags? Some things that if someone in a relationship does some of these things, it's a no go for you. Let's see. I'll start with politics. Hmm. So if someone's a Donald Trump fan, hmm. that's a deal breaker. Okay. I, don't, I guess we don't have any Trump fans. No balloons. And that's what it, remember when I said the liberal side of things? You know, they, this the liberal side. It's the reason why they up there. You know, this is what the liberal side of things look like for these women in politics. It's popped on that. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I'll ask one more question. Oh, yeah. okay. Give me some more. Yeah. So jealousy. Yeah. See, I, I can't hang with that. Can't go for jealousy. Okay. And insecurity. I can't. You know, at this stage in life. No. I feel that we did get one popped balloon. Good thing it wasn't over the Trump uh, thing. But let's head on down and see what's happening here. Uh, and you'll stop right about there. That's perfect. Hello. Would you? It sound like a game show host, right? Tell you, he's perfect for this. He's perfect for this. Tell me your name, your age, and why'd you pop? I'm Linda. I'm 60, and I pop because I can't trust a man who wears glasses, sunglasses, and oh, the uh, wind. The, yeah, the eyes are the windows to the soul, and so when someone hides that, they're hiding who they really are. Probably got cataracts, man. And I don't like that. If only you'd asked, Linda, I would have been glad to take them off. And now he's putting them back on. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh. Well. Now let's let's probably see. sensitive to the light. Okay, hey, it's up to you. Hey, it's your, your, your show. Now, do you think he was your type before it, it No. Was it the glasses? Yeah. And other things too. Do you want to tell us those other things? Well, if he's not my type, I'm not his type, so it goes both ways. Is that true? To, could she be your type, regardless? Of? Sure, I like brunettes. Yeah, yeah, but you're not. There's no real one. Okay, well, we did get two more pops right here, so let's just go to them. Would you tell us your name, your age, and why'd you pop? My name's Patrice. My age is 65, and the reason I popped. Okay, I thought what she thought, and I about to give you a chance. Maybe you could speak on why you're wearing the glasses because that is kind of a bad thing for first impressions and then well there's a well, there's a few reasons so i was going to let you wear the glasses but once you acknowledge what she said you immediately put them back on and then to go with the fact you're a little short and a little insecure because you don't talk very loud and i would break you i'm a little i think wow. i might be a little too wild for you wow well, i'm not sure. telling you nothing traditional you're telling a man that's bigger and taller than you, right? That you will break him. How? You'll break him how? With your attitude? That's what she taught. With your attitude? What? With your demands? This is with the liberal side. I'm telling y'all, this is with the liberal side. And I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying that the Republican Party, listen, the Republican Party, Democratic Party, they're two sides of the same coin, if you ask me, right? 
It's just that when you look at the dynamics between the Republican Party and their structure of women and the liberal, it's totally different. It's two totally different. You know, they're, they're, you know, they're led by a system that keeps them in their 60s on a show looking for dates. This is kind of this. This is real nasty right here. To keep it a buck, keep it a buck. Because again, I'm gonna say this again, and I I really don't care who 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 dislike it. If you're if you're a woman that's of this age, any guy that's coming up there, even if he's around the same age, he's doing them the favor by even showing up because he could just go for younger women they can't go for younger men unless they're outright paying for them outright i'm not sure you're such a great judge of character because insecurity I, I think you, you failed on that one but good luck to you all right then now was he your type before the really slammed himself gone because he put me down just now in about thirty. i'm so not insecure no i'm wild no i was saying i was saying you're thinking you I said him you you didn't in that you put him down then right what is wrong with these people i'm insecure you were uh, way wrong on that oh well that was just my first impression i'm just a little loud and you're really quiet so it might be could be opposite of tracks but off you know <laughs> you know first impression yeah. i just might break you in this case i think a positive times a negative is making a negative which is a math rule uh but okay it's okay let's go for the next one oh, thanks oh. for thinking i'm quiet i appreciate that it's not really true but it's great to hear okay all right now let's go for the next one name age and why'd you pop uh liz bauer 67 and uh just because she said she didn't like the sunglasses you took them off and then you immediately put them back on so this just tells me you, you don't listen and if people don't listen then you know that's not a good again the liberals they're not men are not supposed to listen to women i'm sorry they're not if they if men was to start listening to women society would collapse he's not supposed to listen Oh, you don't like the way he wore his sunglasses? So what? So what? It's sunglasses is going to keep you from actually going to the upper room alone? Good Sheesh. relationship. Okay. Well, there you go. You pop so violently, uh, virulently, you have some of the balloon left on your, uh, okay, that's okay. Uh, but so, so before you popped, before you popped, uh, was he someone that was your type? No. No. Why not? Uh, just the physical. Mm. I wasn't there's I didn't feel any chemistry. The physical. Uh, was she someone that was your type before? You see, was she, she shaped like Okay. She's kinda in there. Kinda in there. Mm, and a cougar too. Okay, well. Well let's walk it on back then. Uh we're not done yet because we still have some that have not pop balloons. You're looking pretty darn good, my man. Okay. We'll just uh, make sure we keep facing that way, just in case. Now I could ask another question, uh, or do you have an essential question you'd like to ask these ladies, just like a maybe one or, no, you know what, let's do this. Religion. I have no issues with religion. Okay. Equal opportunity, gator, except for politics when they're extreme. Got it. Okay. So you're open to any religion? I am, sir. Okay. That could, okay. No pops there. Uh, let's go for one more. Now, what about previous marriages? Have you ever been married? Yes, twice. Okay. Uh, oh, it's not, it's not popping. That's not a popping question. Okay. Or a popping response. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do is I might have to throw it to you. I might have to give you a toothpick. If I can actually borrow yours, uh, Linda, your toothpick. No. Oh, we don't have what? Oh, oh, you, man, you dropped it like it's hot. Wow. That's how, okay. Some of y'all were aggressive with that. Okay. I might have to let you borrow this Ricky. And, uh, I want you to eliminate two, just based on what you see. We kind of asked some questions. We got to know, uh, based on appearance. I need you to pop two. Wow. Okay, let's see. Mm. 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 Okay, let's start here. Uh, can we get, uh, why did you pop her balloon? 
Uh, not not any particular reason, but I think I found some of the other ladies a little more attractive. Mm. Okay, we appreciate that honesty. Now, can you give your name, age, and why you had your balloon unpopped? I'm Stacy, and I'm over fifty. And and what do you want to know? Why did you have your balloon unpopped? Unpopped? Uh, because it's what's inside that counts, and I'm just waiting to hear more. Mm, waiting to hear more. Okay. Now you said she's like re not really your type. You find out what what made her not as intriguing as the other ladies. Well, no, I didn't say that she wasn't my type. I just said that I found some of the other women. More right. What made them more attractive? Or what made her less attractive? We'll focus on her. Hmm. Maybe, maybe a sense of style. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, did, is he your, your type physically? No. Hmm. Okay. But like you said, you're willing to see what's inside. Things like that. Okay. That's wonderful. All right. We did get one more. Uh, you popped one more down here. Uh, I'll ask you first again. Why did you pop this lovely lady's balloon? Really kind face. of the same thing. Um, uh, just some of the other ladies were a little bit more attractive to me. Okay. Now, before you had your balloon popped, uh, was he, is, is he your type? Was he your type? There are bits and pieces of him that are. I think he's adorable. But his shirt is wrinkled. And that really... It's a style thing, actually. It's yeah. not wrinkled. <laughs> it's a style thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, then I suppose I'll take it back. But to me, it looked wrinkled. But I think you're adorable. So there you go. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. Adorable. I like that for you. I love that for you. All right. Let's walk it on back. Because uh, we do have three that are unpopped, Ricky. So you're still looking pretty good. Um, ladies, do you have a question for Ricky? Of the, yes, yes, let's come on down. Uh, name, age, and your question. Hi, my name is Henri. I'm 64. Hi, Henri. I, I, I love your style. I see your shirt is crinkled all over, so that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, do you have a problem with dating someone that's taller than you? No. Okay. Mm, that's a good question. Wow, all right. All right, let's back it on up. Let's back it on up. Um, so it looks like you've got three balloons left. Did you have a question for these lovely ladies before I make you pop one? Sure, sure. Um, my question would be uh, kind of in two parts. Do you like to travel and do you enjoy spending time outside in nature? Mm. Let's start right here. A name, age, and answer to his questions. My name is Rhonda and I'm over 60, believe it or not. Yes, we believe, we believe that you're over 60. And her wig is really bothering me, man. That is, it's really bothering me. For some reason, it's just, an, it just it's bothering me. I can't. I love spending time outside when I can. Like just sitting in the nest. park, listening to music. Um, love it. Okay, let's go next. Walk a little with me. Name, age, and answer to his questions. My name is Cherise, and I'm over 65. And um, I forget what the question was. He said, do you like to travel? I want to say this real quick about, you know, Keisha, old Keisha over here. You notice uh, you didn't see the old Beckys up there saying, you know, pretending like they're young. Maybe their attitudes, you know, can be, you know, not there as far as uh, as, as, as far as uh, they could get a little crazy with it. But you don't see them delusional enough to say something like that. You old Keisha still wants to be young. That's that's one of the main reasons why they're losing. One of the main reasons why they lose. They get a certain age and they still want to be 20. They still want to be 30. When they become 30, they still want to be 20. When they're 30, they still you, you, when they become 40, they want to be 30. When they become 50, they want to be 20. It's like it's like grow up. Grow up. It, 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 it really grow up because, you know, what's the point of saying you 65 and but, y y you know, y n nobody believes it or, or you, you know, tell, trying to make it seem like we don't know, like it, like we can't believe like we can't believe you, you leave that up to us to determine that not you. You leave that up to us to determine that. That's what people do. You don't go around saying, I'm 65. 
you know, I know you can't believe. No, leave that up for us to determine that. You trying to convince yourself you're not old. You're old. Deal with it. Deal with it. Stop trying to be young. Crazy. It's it's just crazy. And do you like like going outside and having fun, spinning? Not a good listener, so maybe you should think of what? Oh. Um Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> we'll grab her another one. Let's get her another one. Let's get her another one. That's okay. Mistakes are okay. So do you like to travel and do you like spending time outside of nature? I love to travel, but I don't like to camp. And I can't stand camping. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, who doesn't like nature? We're all part of nature. All right. All right. Let's go to our final real one. Lovely lady. Name, age, and answer to his question. Hi, my name is Henri. I'm 64. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love to travel. But I'm honestly not real big on being outdoors a lot. Like, I like it in increments. I like sitting on the beach. I like taking short walks. But I'm not really into just, like, hanging out in the sun and, you know. But I love nature. She's not into moving, man. That's what she means. Big quiche over there. Look at look at these arms over here. <laughs> look at these lunch lady arms. She's not into moving, all right? Okay. All right, let's walk it back. Uh, unless you are ready, I'm about to ask you this either way. Uh, you got to pop one. Based on the responses to that question, you got to pop one. Okay. What do you want to pop? Feel free, walk, do your thing. Or, uh. Love nature. And time out mm. Stay there for me. Stay there for around. me. Uh, so just tell us, Big why Keisha? did you pop? Well, spending, outdoor, uh, spending time outdoors in nature uh, really is important to me. The camping thing isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but I really like spending a lot of time outdoors and, and uh, connecting with nature is really important to me. That's cool. Okay. Keep All right. it above. Uh, and now you keep had your balloon above. on top for a minute. Is he someone Old that's here? Brad, your keep it above. Yeah, he is. He's got Big very t-shirt. kind eyes, and I like his earring piercing. And I think he's got a little bit of a wild side to him. I don't think he's quiet at all. <laughs> is she right about that? I think she's right about that. Wow, all right. All right. It's a shame you popped. She seemed like she wanted to she wanted to get wild with you. All right. You've got two lovely ladies left that have not popped their balloons. Um, do you have a final another question for them as we start to narrow this down? Yeah. Um, what would be your dream vacation with me? Hmm. Let's start with Charisse this time. Tell us dream vacation. I would love to go back to France. I love the wine there, and I love Paris, and I love j'aime beaucoup le français. I love French. Oh, my Jean-Jean. Oh, c'est awesome. bien, monsieur. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, let's go right back here. And uh, my dream vacation with you would be to go to Rome. I went there before the pandemic to sing with a group of ladies, and it was awesome. But being with that special one, I think it'll be totally different. Nice. All right. I don't want to make you pop yet unless you already have in your mind who you're going with. Do you have, you're still kind of sure. teeter tottering? Uh, I want to offer to the ladies real quick an essential question from either one of you for Ricky. Do you have either of you have an essential question? Just curious. Were you a hippie? Kind of. Yeah. Is that is that a good thing or a bad thing for you? No, it's it's neither good nor bad. I was just curious. Just hippie. Okay, got it. All right. Well, Ricky, unless you have one more that's going to determine your real one connection, I might need you to pop one, unless you have one more final question. Yeah, I have one more question. Okay. How much do you enjoy cooking? Mm, Let's start right here. I cook on a regular, I have to. I enjoy it, it's relaxing. Okay. Oh, and what do you like to cook? What's your favorite thing you like to cook? Fried chicken, cabbage, candy yams, cornbread. You want a pound cake? I might. You you. You, you want a pound, Tizzy? <laughs> First of all, that sounds insane. You're not supposed to eat like that every day. And when she says she has, she has to. That it probably involves her job. You know that she says she have to. Not that she likes to. So it probably involves, you know, she probably really is a lunch lady. But to fried chicken and, and candy, that, come on, come on. 
Come on. Uh, if if you if you like that type of food, it's it's cool. It's cool. Everybody, you know, everybody likes chicken and everybody likes, you know, candy yams and 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 collard greens. Hey, but that's not everyday food, man. That'll clog up your arteries real fast. One thing about eating healthy, right? Eating healthy can becomes enjoyable when you know how to cook certain foods. You know how to cook healthy foods. That's when it becomes enjoyable. You know, a lot of people that eat healthy that don't enjoy it is because they don't know how to cook healthy foods. They don't know how to cook healthy foods. If you got a woman that know how to cook healthy foods, that's because now number one, she knows how to cook. She she don't know how to just cook greasy foods, right? She knows how to cook healthy foods. Number two, she wants to see you alive. Not only alive, healthy. Healthy. She don't want to be in the hospital room uh, watching them take your foot away because your arteries are clogged. That's crazy to 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 just say something like that though. Like that's what you cook all day every day. I go home with her. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I heard, I heard okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not my job. All right. Anyway. Candy games, yeah, man. That's my favorite too, man. Okay. Let, I'm sorry. Let me get focused. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. You. Yes. Well, and again, I prefer to just add heat to things. Again, again, that that's Thanksgiving food, right? You know, stuff like that. You're not supposed to eat that every day, man. You're not. That's crazy. The microwave girl. Well, microwave or just, you know, in the oven, but just heat things. So I'm not much of a cook, I, I have to say. Oh, you're done. You're oh. done. That's see why you see Got why it. you're single. Okay. Uh, that was At your that final age? question. I don't think they do. You've got to pop. You've got to make a decision. So you got to make a decision. You got to make a decision. <laughs> this is crazy. You got to choose bad out of the worst. You got to you got to settle for bad instead of worse. Even at that age, at his age, he has to settle for bad out of the worst. One who cooks, you know, greasy foods uh all day every day and, and another one who only likes to heat up stuff. Ah, uh, this See what he vision based on these two lovelies. See, let's go. These two real ones. I think that was a little. I don't think we're too shocked by that. Uh, but let's see what happened. Ricky, come on over. Me. Based on the answer to the last question. Uh, but Ricky, tell me why'd you pop Teresa's balloon? But the cooking thing was, yeah. it was that was kind of a deal breaker for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, and heat. I'm thinking maybe she likes really spicy, really hot food. Oh, mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah, I'm Canadian. I don't like that. Yeah, the, not liking to cook. Cause, yeah, I mean, so. I like a woman that cooks. I like to cook. I like to cook with a woman. Yeah, all of that. I got you. Now, before, uh, you know, you just popped because of the cooking thing. Was she your type? Possibly. Okay. What's the possibly? What could have made her for sure the type? The cooking? Well, that would have helped a lot. What else? <laughs> uh, she... Hello. Could my be name a, is uh, Rhonda uh, Banks. Becky. I'm over 60. Well, well, my back. My back. Hold on. I would love to go back to France. I love. There we go. I like to cook. I like to cook with a woman. Yeah, all that. I got you. Now, before uh, you know, you just popped because of the cooking thing. Was she your type? Possibly. Okay. What's the possibly? What could have made her for sure the type? The cooking. Well, that would have helped a lot. What else? <laughs> Would have made a I type if she I was a Let's Becky. Step on back. Uh, I think you got a real one. So, hey, you know, Rhonda, just step on a little close to me. Step on a little close. I got a question. Now, I got a Help few me, questions. Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. I got a few questions, uh, just two. Uh, do you think that he could be your real one? Absolutely. I like the wild side. I'm visual. I knew he was fashion. Um, he has young energy. Mm, you want young energy? Yes. You need me. No, I'm just joking with the yam. That's okay. It's okay. And uh, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm trying host, to steal your real one. Uh, do you think she could be your real one? up here sure. trying to take these Can we old ladies We got a real one connection talk. here. Yeah. I will take your mic. <laughs> the host been trying to take these old ladies. He's trying, to, he's, trying to get, he's trying to take these old ladies on the Disney tour. But let me tell you something. 
Let me let me tell y'all something. Y'all know I talk about the Brad worship, right? Y'all know I talk about the Brad worship, right? How many how many black men have she dated in her long life that she could have cooked for? You got a lot of black men that wait that will love to eat fried chicken. Not a not a lot. Not to more people are more health conscious, but you got black men who, who will listen to that and be like, "Oh, you cook every day. You cook because she didn't cook every day." Remember, she said that she cooked because she had to, meaning most likely her job, you know, involves cooking. Which mean that why why you don't have a man? You probably wasn't cooking for him. You probably wasn't listening to him. So you're at this age right now on a show. And you're getting chose by a a, a 77-year-old Brad. And you're, you're in your 60s. And, you know, most likely this is not going anywhere. It's, it's not going to go anywhere. It's really not. Once he, because he's only looking for somebody to cook for him. Once he get a load of your attitude, once he get a load of 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 you, he's gonna he's gonna say, all right, all right, it, it, it's a wrap. He don't have time for that. He's seventy seven. He's seventy seven, and you're running around. Wanting people to believe that you're younger than what you look like, that ain't gonna work for him. But you, you know, standing online for a Brad to choose her when she had ample opportunities with black men, very nasty work. Very nasty work for these old quiches. I'll I'll even take that balloon and I'll keep the love going. Y'all get it on off. Maybe she'll cook you some fried chicken and yams, my man. Yeah, clap it up. Clap it up one more time. Wow. Oh my goodness. Let's get ready for the next one. Let's get ready for our next real one. Can my next real one come on down? Come on down. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Would welcome, you please welcome. tell me? Wow. And what was oh. that? Oh, we'll get there. Uh, oh. Okay. I. We'll pay the rent. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go straight to simping. <laughs> that was a little fast. Let, let's start with this. We didn't even get to name yet. Can you yeah. tell us your name, your oh. age, and what you do? Okay. My name is Fontaine Robinson. My age is 67. I own a small business called Always Clean, and I'm also an actor. And I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, by the way from the East Coast. Okay. And? Let's go with this. Uh, we will get there, but I uh, want you to still be able to share a little more about you. Uh, what are you looking for in a real one? What are you looking for? Uh, somebody who cares about themselves, who's ambitious, and um, who's passionate about something in their life and are not afraid to go out there and reach out and get it and grab it. You know, don't let nothing hold you back. You know, just take a chance. Life is about taking a chance. If you don't, you'll never know. So it's just taking a chance and see what happens. So I think maybe all oh, y'all might be in that category. Take it in. a little bit. Okay. And uh, let's go for one more question. Okay. Uh, go ahead. What are some red flags that you have in a relationship? For example, if the lady does something uh, red greedy, flag. greedy, greedy, always want, 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 doesn't take care of himself. People on the East Coast they're into fashion. I know it's out here in California. I don't really see that. You know, but on the East Coast of New York, Chicago, and Boston, they're dressing. So out here, I don't see a lot of that. So just somebody who likes to look nice. All I ain't going to lie, man. In Cali, I ain't going to lie, man. Yeah, California, they, they don't know how to dress, man. They really don't. They all over the place with it. They are all over the place with it. They don't know how to dress. They, they don't know what's in style. They don't know what's in fashion. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. You go to Cali, you so in some places in Cali, 
it, it looked like night it looked like the eighties. I'm talking about as far as fashion. If you if you you don't see mullets anymore, but if you go to California, you'll see some. You'll see some. Even his style, hair, hairstyle, they, they don't know what's going on. All the time, on. and not afraid to open up. All right. right, so we'll see what happens with that. All right, well, we did get some popped balloons, some yes. real ones oh, broke okay. their own hearts. So let's come on yeah, down see. and see yeah. what's happening. Let's start right here with this wonderful real one. Name, age, and why you popped. Hi, my name is Henri. I'm, I'm 64. Uh-huh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, Are you single? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. They're so all single. Right? Okay, so... <laughs> What do you like in a man? Well, let me ask, I asked her why she okay. popped. So let's okay. let okay. I'll do my job for a okay. brief moment. Okay. Uh, why did you pop? Well, it looks like those are chicken bones. Right, right. This is from my let's grandmother. Speak speak yeah. She's from the she's from the um, from the south. She's Indian, Cherokee Indian. That's beautiful. So was, she passed it on to me. So I had this about like fifteen years. Okay. This is the second. This is the second one. I went to a friend's house and his dog ate the other ones. Oh. So I didn't know he was that hungry, but so this is another <laughs> one. So can you imagine that? <laughs> no, yeah. I can't. So, oh. uh, no, it's just that. It, it's something like cool. unique a little bit. It's, it, 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 it's, it's unique, yeah. but also it's a little scary. Yeah, it is. It I'm is. getting on the voodoo side. Oh, uh, not too much of that. No, my grandmother just, anything your grandparents tell you, it's always for real. She's been through the storm. Okay, and you I totally remember that. I appreciate it. Yeah. You look very nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. And you do too, as soon. Thank you. Thank you. So it was the... The bones, the bones that like threw you off. Oh my God, what are they? I can see that they real. But see, if I take you, if I take you on a date, you get hungry. I can always, you know what I'm saying? Not on the bones. Okay, okay. Fascinating. Uh, all right, we'll move forward after that. Okay. All right, can we get your name? Come on, OG. Why you got the bones on? He seems like a nice guy. Got great energy. Dress well. Dress for the the bones, man. <laughs> Yo, come on, you don't come through wearing bones on your neck. Even yeah, I get what he's saying. That's something you keep in your home, man. Come on, OG. Come on, not the bones around the neck. Come on. Name and age, and why you pop. Joy Domain, I'm over 60 years old, mm. and it's just that you're wearing bones. Yeah, and come on. I don't eat things that have bones, yeah. so that that's very, um, you know, that's a reason for yeah, me to yeah. pop my balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it could be a culture thing, like I was telling her, my grandmother, you I, know what I mean? But I don't see what you're saying. I love that you love your grandmother, right, and, right. and uh, that right. par grandparents are really precious to, to me. me. Exactly. But there's bones on yeah. you. Huh. Yeah. It's like an art form. But you know what? A lot of people want me to make them some. And I didn't even know that. Sure. But there are going to you know? be people who eat meat. Right, 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 right. Well, a little bit. So that's what it is. But it just has some significance I to know. it. But, I yeah. understand that there's okay. a reason okay. for it. I think that's okay. Can you we just that. zoom in on those bones since that's whatever? Let's face that way. Just, just get those yeah. bones Come in on, frame. Come on, OG. Get the bones. Come yeah. On. Okay. That, that might yeah, suffice. Yeah. All right. Now, before. Um, you saw the bones, or and if he didn't have the bones, would he be your type? I saw the bones right away. <laughs> if he didn't have the bones, would he be your type? He could be my type. Wow, well, yes. could be, but not for sure. Not with them bones. Well, it's just, you know, the bones are the an bones overwhelming Oive is mirror. He's wearing yeah. bones. Yeah, okay, yeah. But now he's blocking them. Yeah. But. yeah. I can see that you are precious and yeah. sweet. Yeah, thank you. You are too, man. You're sincere. Thank you. You got a nice yes. smile, by okay. the way. All right, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Da, 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 da. Name, age, and why you pop. <laughs> I'm Linda. I'm 60. Same reason. Mm -hmm. The bones. Come on. I'm a long time OG. vegetarian. I love animals. Yeah. Made me think of a chicken. Wow. Also, you know, I'm yeah. I've lost too many dogs in my life, yeah. and it's like just heart wrenching. Yeah. And so, yeah, anyone that promotes, you know, you old when you say you lost too many dogs. How many dogs you have? You know, the, let, let me let me see. Let me see something real quick. The average lifespan. Uh, 
of a dog. 10 to 13 years. So how many you had, you know? <laughs> she says she has so many. Sheesh. Uh, the killing of animals or wears yeah. it as a show of fashion. It's like, it's yeah, not for me. We're not going to make it. Okay, sorry, honey. Yeah, I like animals. I'm not an animal lover. So I, but you're passionate about that. So uh, yeah, we wouldn't connect, but God bless you though. Yeah. For your sincerity. Thank you. We got a pop. Oh, we'll get back there. Let, let's. Uh, we'll go. But we'll finish moonwalk. up here, and then we'll move walk back. back okay. uh, let's make sure we're facing that camera. Yeah. Uh, name, age, and why you popped. My name is Patrice. I'm mm -hmm. 65. Mm. And uh, yeah, that voodoo. Uh, yeah. 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 And now you said you're What's indigenous. You? See, oh. now, did you say those are from an indigenous witch doctor or? No, no. Cherokee. No. Say oh, nothing yeah. about oh, being yeah. a witch yeah. doctor. Yeah. Yeah. See, I love yeah, the, yeah, yeah, Indian, yeah. the American Indian yeah, yeah. culture. Right. But the voodoo. Mm -mm. Yeah. The wearing it. So if you didn't yeah. wear it, and you came here. Yeah. You spoke. You speak very well. Yeah. And and that's a plus. Right. Thank you. And uh. First of all, this is the reason. Y'all got to. Y'all got to start, you know, listening to these underhanded comments, you know, especially from these old Bre Beckys and Brads, because they still think it's 1960, 1970, where they could say certain things. That was a very underhanded, com very low, bro. First of all, did she say any of that to the, any of those Brads? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Speak well. What do you expect to him to speak like? What do you expect to him to speak like? Hey, yo, bro. What's up, my N-word? What do you expect him to speak like? You know, any any time, any time, they 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 again. You know, people like her and people like that are tell you that you sound white because you sound educated. People like her and people like that are two sides of the same coin when it comes to. Just being plain, plain, downright, nasty, disgusting, and disturbing. And you don't need people like this in your life. You really don't. That's probably why she's that's probably why she's alone. Saying things like that. You speak so what well. speak well. What do you expect them to speak like? Get out of here. Don't uh, remember, black men, you ever hear something like that? Your attendance, your attendance should automatically go up. Automatically go up. What do you mean I speak well? Automatically. Get out of here. That's just. So I couldn't date you with Wayne the Bones? No, yeah, my cat would go. You wouldn't, you wouldn't kiss me or hug me? Of course, you got Not cats. with the Bones. Oh, I'll say that's why. And, and you know, it's your religion and it's your choice, and yeah, I think that's right. great because, you know, we all love our grandmas. Right, right. I mean, I got grandmas. Oh, that's not grandmas. Really. So if I get rid of these, <laughs> you'll date me. I would, but they would still be hanging in your room. Right. And I would know that. So I couldn't date you, go out with you uh, to the club with these on? Okay. But, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens after yeah, the show. Yeah. I think that's pretty clear. That's deep. Let's go to our last okay. lovely lady. Uh, name, yeah. age, why you pop? Liz, uh, 67. Uh -huh. The only reason why I popped, I didn't feel any physical attraction. Okay. So that wasn't great. the bones for you. Is it good? The bones. This one again with the all. No, nothing okay, about the bones. Good, so good. Just that's honestly good. I got like three or four bones. Boom, boom, like a said, laundry bag. Mm. It's, okay. I got it. you. Now, is she someone that's your You're type? You're crazy with that no. wig. <laughs> no, I don't think so. What makes her not your type? Uh, she's not up. sure. You know what I mean? I need somebody. I'm not what? Sure. She's not sure of herself. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> no, no, keep it a buck. Yeah, and you just do, just do a dot at me, but yeah, you are okay, but I, I don't think I could date you. Okay, okay, that's cool. that's you're great. Cool. All right, let's walk it on oh, back. Just, we did say, get another pop back. Oh, gee, just say you look and nasty. Michael, we did get a pop. I think it was back here with the lovely. Go ahead. Accidentally pop. Go ahead. I thought you said you didn't like animals. No, I'm not an animal lover. Okay. But I, I don't mind animals. But she was talking about her animals, how oh, fashion she she is. Okay. But I'm not an animal lover. I do love animals, so I understand about the killing and all that. Yeah. But listen, this this doesn't represent all that. No. Yeah. This so you're not an animal lover. But you do love animals. Right. You know, since, that makes no sense. No, no, no. It makes no. perfect sense. Slow. It ain't so slow. It makes perfect sense. He loves animals, but he's not an animal lover. It makes perfect sense. He loves seeing animals, but he, you know, when you look at people who say they're animal lovers, that means they put their animals over people. I can't stand those kind of people, actually. That'll put their own pets above somebody else, above an actual person. I can't stand those type of people. The, let me tell you how how demented and twisted these people are. If they had a chance, right, to save a person's life, right, to save a person's life, a person, not not a bad person, you know, not 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 a not not somebody that's uh you know, out there committing crimes, but an everyday average citizen out there that's doing the right thing, they would choose their pets over that person if it came down to who must live and who must go. If they had a choice, they would choose their pet over that person. You know what's even crazier? They would choose any pet over that person because that's what the term animal lover usually means. They love animals more than they love people. You do you come on? I know y'all see uh when you watching these YouTube videos or uh anything with animals, whether it's on Facebook, uh Instagram, whatever you watching, go in the comment section. It's always those weird people in there saying they you know they're they're more compassionate than humans. You can learn more from them than you can learn from you. Real ridiculous. Listen, no animal. I don't care if it's your pet. I don't care. You, sh you can love animals, but you should never put animals over people. I don't care what y'all think. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. People who do that, they're weird. They straight up weird. I don't care if you love your pet. I don't care anything. You can love your pet. I don't have to. You can love your pet. But it makes perfect sense when he said he loves animals, but he's not an animal lover. If you don't understand that, then you, you, you're you real slow. I'm sorry. You're slow. You're dealing with slow gas. Oh. Yes, you did mean to pop at this point. Yeah. Right. Let's see if you have 50 cats. I wouldn't want to date you. Yeah. See, that's true. I love animals, not 50 cats. Yeah. See, that's what it is. So. So you are glad you popped. Why is that? No. Because it's like he can't make up his mind. He loves. He doesn't. He loves them, but he doesn't love. I don't know. No. It was a little confusing to no. me. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. And I changed my mind. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go again. Go now, ahead. before he said the animal love, well, we'll stay with this one real quick. Yeah. Now, before he said any of that, was he? You had your balloon unpopped. Was he your type? Well, I did see the chicken bones. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah, come on. Wow, that bad. You probably should find something else your grandmother left you. No. <laughs> if you gave me this, I'm gonna keep this. It's okay, high. that's yeah. okay. okay. I, it's not for me to say. Yeah, and God bless you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let, let's go to our final <laughs> lovely lady. Name, yeah. age, and why you pop? I'm over fifty, Stacey, and um, well, y the bones were kind of weird, and oh. um, but you know, it's just um, it's too dark. Yeah. But you know something, this is the first time I really got bad bone stories from a lot of people. A lot of people like them. But everybody's individual. This, you're, you're, you're a new breed. You're a new breed. But y'all are the first and bone, 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 bone. Nothing new breed no, no, no. about them, OG. But a lot of people really, 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 really like this. So, but I can understand you all's feelings on. But well, well uh, it was the insistence on the bones being so fantastic. Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah. It, it, it's okay I, uh, once in a while, but yeah. to make a first, you know. Would you date me? Would you date me? 
without the bones. Without the bones, but the, but you can't forget the bones. Mm. The, I, well, there's bones there. Are they in the closet and you're going to see? Well, well, the thing is, um, I need the sense of humor. Mm, and I okay. did, and uh, there was too much seriousness about the bones. And, and if the bones... <laughs> Well, who knows? We could be at dinner. I can make you funny, make you laugh. Funny about the yeah, bones. yeah. They're like an anecdote, like yeah. a, I mean, a, um, anecdotal. But well, you know what? That, that has a sense of humor to it. Anecdotal. And I can sort of laugh and I go, ah, oh, yeah. yeah. But but I didn't. But see, because it also could be a cultural thing. She understands it. Maybe she understands me, and then y'all might be different, and that's what it is. But I, I say I respect all your answers. I yeah. I just want to see the humor in it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Just, just spirit. You just spend for your parents. We'll walk it on back. Okay, uh, Fontaine. All of yours. It looks all like uh, all of the real ones pop their hearts. Right. Um, but I sure do thank you for coming out. You thank still you. are a real one. Right. Can we still clap it up for this hey, real thank one? You, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll thank take you. that, Mike. Okay. Thank you. You can head out that way. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. They like the shoes. They like the shoes. They like the shoes. They like. One thing you notice, right? One thing you notice, and this, and this is the reason why. You know that <laughs> they can't use that argument about who are nicer people. They can't use that with us. That's why I I don't see nothing wrong when you see men giving women that same coldness. That that the same you know uh the same energy back when it comes to them being disrespectful. All of these guys up here so far, right, have been nice and respectful to these geriatric women. And so far, right, they've been snappy, right? They've been snappy. They've been, you know, uh, picky with them real picky and they're done it's a wrap for them really this right here is their last chance at anything this should this right here this moment is their last chance and instead of them looking at it like that what they want to do is be picky and, and you know what your, your sunglasses and then and I ain't gonna lie, OG with the bones. He, come on, he he knew you, you got it. You you don't show up with bones on your neck. Come on, come on. It's 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 na it's a nasty look. It is a nasty look. You know you don't show up like that. But he still was he was still respectful to them. He was still nice to them. You know and. They think it's a, they still look at them. They think it's a game. They've been thinking it's a game for a long time and they're washed now. They Finito, that lady, the first lady got it. The the first she understood. She's not there to play no games. She's trying to just get a date and she was gone. She told him, "Hey, stop playing around." <laughs> Right? Stop playing around. Pick me. She wasn't playing no games. The rest of them, look at them. They think this is a game. See, young people, when you look at the young people, it's hilarious. It's hilarious when you see the young people on, on these shows, right? This is sad right here. This is sad. It's not funny. I mean, it's it's hilarious, but not in the way that you think it's a it's hilariously sad. Let's go, let's go. Like hey, he's very sweet. Yeah, he's very sweet. All right, thank you. We want chicken wings. Let's get ready for our next contestant. All right, let's bring out our next real one. Hello there. Come on in. Come on in for the win. Come on in. You can stand right about there. Hello there. Would you please come on in just a little more? Uh, just a little more. Perfect. Would you tell us your name, your age, and what you do? Uh, my name is Jack. Uh, I'm uh, 77 and I'm retired. Wonderful. 
Okay, no balloons popped. Let me ask you this. What are you looking for in a real one? What are you looking for? Well, uh, there's a lot of things I'm looking for, but I would say the most important thing is that they be a good person. Hmm. Okay, and define good person for me. Three traits of a good person. Three traits of a good person. Okay, well, somebody that has empathy, somebody that um, uh, is uh, always uh, in a good mood and ready to hug and... and uh, Okay. We'll get there. Continue. Well, uh, and somebody who, um, is, you know, um, is uh, find, finds it very easy to give. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Let's go for one more. Okay. Uh, what would you say is some of your red flags in a relationship? If the, if the woman does this, it's a no-go for you. Uh, women does, um, well, you know, I, I, I do, would not want the woman to depend on me for her entertainment. I'd want her to have her own interests and, well, there we go. <laughs> Keep going, her own interests. Her own interests so that she's not depending on me to entertain her. Hmm. And, uh, cause I have my own interests. I mean, I play a lot of tennis and um, I uh, do a lot of reading and uh, I'm, in, I'm into cooking, I'm into a lot of things. And uh, um, I would like, the person that I'm with to also be into things and uh, we can meet at the end of the day and say how was your day got it okay and I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression I mean I I do want to travel and go out and have a companion have a friend and a lover but uh, you know I just want to make sure that the person whom I'm with uh, on a day-to-day -day basis has things they like to do by themselves got it all right oh Okay. Well, let's start to walk down. We did get a few pop balloons. Not too many, though. You're still looking fresh, still okay. looking good. Uh, let's stop right here. Let's go name, age, and why you popped. Hi, Damien. My name is Henri, and I'm 64. Tell us why you popped. I popped because I think when we get a certain age, it is dependable on us entertaining each other. And I don't mean like we got to be laughing and talking and like all day or anything like that. But I, I kind of like to play around like with my well, significant I, I think, other. I think you misunderstood me. Oh, OK. Yes, I think you misunderstood me because um, entertaining each other is is very important. It's yes. just that I don't want it to be all the time. <laughs> I don't want to come home and uh, I'm tired and I want to relax and have a drink. And you say, honey, you've got to take me out now. Okay. I was hanging around all day and now I want to go out. See, that's not going to work with me. But don't get me wrong. I'm going to sp I want to spend a lot of time with you and, and uh, go places and mm -hmm. have dinner and go to the okay. movies. And uh, it's just that I don't want you to depend on me to to uh you know occupy your time all the time absolutely okay. but entertaining to me and occupying time isn't the same thing so well, okay. but i understand okay. thank you good okay now before uh you know that encounter kind of could he be your type yeah i love his hair i love his hair i like the way he's dressed he looked like he came to you know go out on a date so yeah he could be but he came looking pretty good okay all right. Well, he came looking fresh. Thank you, though. Now, real quick, could she be someone that's your type? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. I love By the that. way, I had red hair when I was a little younger. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, you did? All oh, right. Okay. Oh, redheads here. Wow. Well, it's, uh, too bad the, the real one didn't connect. Uh, let's go down here. Hello. Name, age, and why you popped. Liz, 67. Uh, I didn't see any physical attraction. Mm. Well, you know, if that's the case, there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? Not particularly. Okay. What about her isn't your type? Um, well, I just, uh, it's just, you know, something you, you know right away, whether you're attracted to the person or you're not attracted mm. to the person. And I'm not attracted to her. Okay. That works. Well, let's walk it on back. We still have some that have not popped their balloons. One, two, those three, four. Those are the, and those are the ones you are going to talk to. Now, let me ask you this. This is a pretty important question. Sure. Uh, and it's important for some real ones. Have you ever been married? Um, no, never been married. Oh, never been married. Wow. I ask good questions. They should pay me more. Let's come on up and see what <laughs> happened here. Uh, we'll watch that. Okay. Uh, let's stop here. Now, back up just a little for me. Sure. Now, name, age, and why you popped. Okay. Linda, 60. I loved everything you had to say up until the part about not being married. Loved the Northeastern accent, you know, 
even his name, I love the name Jack, but the never being married, never wanting to commit, not for me. Now, was that an issue for you? It's also a little bit, um, because I've been in some very long relationships. I was in a relationship for 10 or 15 years, but for one reason or another, we just didn't. But I understand. I understand what you're saying. I heard a real one ask a real question. Why didn't you ever marry him? If, uh... um, maybe I'm a little too particular. Mm. You know, okay. maybe I'm a little too particular, but um, uh, I am looking for love. Okay, you're here on a real one in the right place. Okay, now, before he said that, like you said, he's your type. No. I thought, I thought you were saying that. No, no, but my, I liked what... She's annoying. You know, she's one of those that thinks she still have options. She's done out here. She's done out here. But first of all, I don't even, uh, I don't even know why that, that's a problem that he, y'all not up here to get married. Those days are over. You just, you just up here to, to be around somebody. So when it's time to go to the upper room, they can, they can report it. <laughs> You you just want to be around somebody when it's when it's time to uh, when it's time to go, you know you don't you don't have to sit around inside your home, you know stinking up the place. You know you want to you want to make sure somebody somebody is around to uh to assist in calling calling the boys to pick you up, put you on that slab. You know you know yeah, that's the reason why you're not you're not up there to look for a, a, a husband those days are done those days are done you're there to, to play Yahtzee you're there to find somebody to pray, play bridge with you you know a, a, a couple of games of Scrabble that's it maybe some chess husband why why is a husband in committing you you had you had forty years to do that. Y'all had forty odd y'all had forty something odd years to do that. Didn't do it right. You, and now you up here and you you him being married is a problem. They bugging. What I said, I love what he had to say. However, my type no. Got it. Now, was she someone that was your type or is your type? I think so. I think she's a very sexy lady. Wow. Sexy. Wow. Okay. You like me a little bit better now? <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, no. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's all right. You tried. All right. No is no. Let's walk on back then. Watch your step as we moon walk on back. Uh, you still have three that are unpopped, Jack. So you're doing quite well. Right, okay. um, do you have an essential it question? It only that's right. That's all we're looking for is a real one. Do you have one more essential before I ask to borrow Teresa's toothpick um, and then you pop? Do you have one more essential? Um, I would say there's, there's more than one, but um, I would uh, uh, want the person that I'm going to have a relationship with to be in generally a person who is happy. Somebody that is in a good mood, is all quickly ready for a, to, to hug and to kiss, and um, you know, uh, somebody that I know uh, can't wait till I get home. Mm. She actually can wait till I get <laughs> she can't wait. She can't. She can't. Let's walk on down and see why she popped. I mean, I want you to I want you to finish, but that was pretty, you know, all of a sudden. Name, age, and why you popped. My name is Patrice. I'm 65. Yeah. I popped because whoopsie. I popped. I popped because you're a little sounding a little clingy. You know, hugging and kissing, can't wait till you get home. I like, I work, I have long days, I do a lot of stuff, and I, you know, I just don't want, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I love sex, I love that, you know, the kissing and the hugging, but not all the time. Well, don't you want to come home and have somebody greet you with a hug and say, how was your day? Well, that's nice, okay, but, so you know, sometimes, don't that, touch me, I'm like, well, and a rough day. That turns me off. I mean, I like touching, but sometimes I like hot flash. It's a little bit much sometimes. You seeing the difference? You seeing the difference? <laughs> I'm telling you. 
they're not good people, man. They they they're really not, man. They're really not. I'm talking about from that liberal side of things. They're really not. I don't care what y'all say, man. I don't care what you say. This is this is usually from the liberal side of things. That you know, first of all, you know, you're still working says a lot. I, I, it says a lot. It it really does for them. They they age themselves out of marriage, age themselves out of a relationship. Right now, they just looking for companionships. That means they they have to work until the sun burn out in order to support themselves because they it's just them. One hundred percent of the bills is all theirs. One hundred percent of everything is all theirs to take care of. And that's the reason why she has to work until the sun burn out. You notice that, you know, a lot of these, you know, men, if you see it at a certain age, you hear retirement. They're in retirement. You know, they, you know, they, they retire. They, they, they're doing whatever they want to do. Uh, maybe they just taking up hobbies because men are more financially responsible. Women are not when it comes to men. They're nowhere near on the level of financial responsibility. So when they get old, they don't have any savings. They don't have any money. When they say they financially responsible, they may say they may say that because they probably get paid a decent check. But maybe, uh, well, well, you should be getting paid decent. You should be getting a, a, a decent wage. You've been working at the same spot for the last 40 years. But they never save, they never invest well, so they really don't have any money. So when they say they're doing well financially, they talking about probably how much they get paid uh, a, a yearly salary. So even if they're getting paid, there's still no security there because they never built it up. That's why you hear them saying they've been working, they still working, which is like, well, you're still working? 66 years old, 65, you're still working? Because you have no choice but to. Well, I wasn't uh, talking about ripping your clothes off when I... Well, you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's all she's looking for. These, they still think they're young. If he was thinking about, you know, doing that, he... Most likely, he would think about a younger woman, hotter, younger women. He's thinking about actually a companion. Somebody he could come home to, you know, they could read books together, you know, play tennis together. This is what he said. Well, if I say I would, would you change your mind? <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> okay. Get the balloon back. <laughs> you, do you want a balloon back? <laughs> Are you okay, or what do you want to do? Um, I, uh, <laughs> we'll go with no. We'll go with no. Once you pop, you know. But hey, if you were really in that freaky mood, I could. Okay, all right, all right. Well, look, all right, well, let's walk it on back then. Oh, we... <laughs> he wild. He's wild. If you're really in that freaky mood, I can take you back, take you on a tizzy tour real quick. Have two he is that wild. have not popped their you Take it to the back. You're going to see dust flying everywhere. <laughs> you're still looking pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw it to the ladies. Stacy or Joy, do either of you have an essential question for Jack? Any children? I have uh, one more time. Any children? No, I don't have any children. Children? Okay. Joy, did you have a question by chance? Uh, let me walk over to you. I have two. Okay. Do, you ha do you have any pets? I um, have a little, little pooch. Okay. And what have you done for a living before you retired? Oh, I was uh, in the textile business. Okay. Yes. For 50 years. Oh, what did you do? Well, not exactly, but, uh, <laughs> well, I, I sold uh, uh, fabric to uh, manufacturers who make uh, women's dresses and 
uh, okay. women's sportswear. I didn't sell the schmatas. I sold the fabric. That <laughs> to make the schmatas. I made the schmatas. Oh, okay. And sold the schmatas. And is, I, I didn't do that. Is schmata a word in your vocabulary usually? No. Okay. <laughs> that's <what I> mean. <laughs> Got it. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Well, let's back it on up because I might have to have you do something a little crazy. You might have to pop one of those balloons and possibly get you a real one. Unless you have one more essential. I know you have a bunch, but one more essential to determine either one of these real ones for you. Uh, I would say that um, maybe that they would also love dogs because I love dogs. Really do. Do both of you just give me the ladies? Do you love dogs? Or? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's ask you. Do you love dogs? Absolutely. Well, that might determine. Let me give you this because uh, it might be time to start popping. Uh, based on that answer, uh, do you think you know who you're going to pop? Well, not only do I know who I'm going to pop, but the person knows who's holding the balloon who I'm going to pop. <laughs> okay. Because if person doesn't love dogs, then I, it's just, I, she's not the right person for me. Well, go get, to, get to popping. Get to popping. Oh, all right. Well, uh, one more. I just do want to ask one more time. So she did say she's okay with dogs, Jack. Right. But okay. you want love no, dogs. No, no, no. As long as a person has got a certain amount of uh, um, affinity for dogs and, and is, uh, um, you know, just likes being around them and isn't turned off by them and uh, might have to feed them and take them for a walk. You know, as long as a person is into that, I'm fine with that. Your response to that, Stacey? Well, um, I had a dog, Lance, that was a collie, and um, we slept together. And when I went off to school, we talked on the phone, and he always knew who was my, you know, okay with me. And who You see the difference? He said, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta, like dogs enough in order to take care of them and you should you should take care of your pets if you have you should walk them you know feed them make sure that, you know that they're, they're, they're healthy right it, normal relationships between humans and their pets did she just say she was talking to the dog on the phone what was he saying what, what did the dog say to you What's happening over there? How's everything doing? What was the dog saying to you? Just ridiculous. And who wasn't okay. And I've always had dogs. But, you know, they're okay. I mean, there's other things that are okay, too. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's step on back, Jack. Let's have Joy come on next to me because we might be ready to do something. I've got a few questions before we do that. Um, any final questions between you two? Any final questions? Uh, I would just say, what's, what's your favorite thing to do? Walk my dogs around the block oh, boy. And, and, and cuddle with them. I know where I'm going to get my exercise. <laughs> oh, wow. This man has game. He has riz, kids. Uh, now, then, what I'll ask you is, uh, could you feel that she could be your real one? Absolutely, I could. Do you feel he could be your sure. real one? Yeah. Would you can make some noise. We got a real one connection here. I'll take that mic. I'll even take that balloon. Hey, y'all go walk some dogs. Y'all go walk some dogs. I will take the toothpick, too. They got me doing everything. Hey, walk on off. Clap for them. Clap. <laughs> Wow, go walk some dogs. Oh my God. Wow, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wow, let's get ready for the next real one. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, Another let's match. bring out our next real one. Come on in. Come on in for the win. Welcome so much. How you doing? Take that mic for me. Would you please share with I and these lovely ladies your name, your age, and what you do? Uh, my name is Gary. I'm 62 years old, and I'm an architect. <laughs> Very good. Architect. Architect. Very good. Okay. It seems like they're liking that. Ooh, oh, now tell me this. What architect. are you looking for in a real one? Well, uh, looking for somebody who uh, is a good cook. I'm tired of eating. <laughs> tired of eating. Uh, Use the mic. Use yeah, the mic. Yeah. I'm tired of eating uh, uh, TV dinners and, and, you know, frozen food. So yeah. I'm look, look for somebody who is a good cook. Uh, I don't like cats and dogs i have uh <laughs> oh. i have allergies otherwise you know they're okay yeah. uh, and then somebody who is neat and can go out with me to concerts and uh show cats and dogs and neatness so not only do they got cats 
one thing one thing when you look at somebody who have a bunch of animals their house stink their house stink it stinks I don't care who you are. You got more than one animal. Your house smells. And you know who usually be having more than one animal? And the only way you can have more than one animal and your house don't smell is if you have property. You know, if you have property, you got a nice yard. You got a nice big yard. Not some small, nice big yard. Got some property where the dog can actually get some exercise. You know where people be having multiple pets that, that that's very disturbing? They be having them in apartments. That should be a crime. They be having these pets cooped up in apartments. Multiple pets. And you know their house stink. So... They have multiple pets and they have an issue with him saying that he like a woman that's neat, which means they probably filthy. And things of that nature, you know, stand up comedy shows. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Awesome. Somebody to have fun with. OK, well, those are some of those things. Now, tell me this. What are some of your red flags? Some things that if a partner does this in a relationship, it's a no go for you. Uh, well, somebody who is spending a lot of money on makeups, mm. that's really a, a turn off. Um, and then, uh, you know, somebody who is not picking up after themselves, you know, just, you know, and, you must be and I guess the last real, one would be real, somebody who is <laughs> taking a lot of medicine. Real dirty women. Mm. I'm looking for somebody who's healthier than myself. <laughs> okay. So, All right. You don't we want did the, get some real ones. You don't want ones. them taking a lot of medicine. He don't know where he at. They all take medicine. <laughs> they all take pills. <laughs> Got a pill for each day. He don't know where he at. Things that uh, pop their hearts. Uh, let's go down and talk well, to them. We'll I'm start with this. It's a little, but you'll. What I think you'll be all right because you have one. Let's hold oh, on. Okay. Uh, but let's see. Name, age, and why you popped. Sharice, and I'm over 65, and I pop because I'm a crappy cook. Oh well, I'm sorry to hear that, but hopefully yeah. you'll. Uh, you know, it's always a good thing to try something new. Thing. So nah, uh, she yeah, new. You'll be all right. Nah, oh. they done. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Now. Uh, before he said the cook thing, is he someone that's your type or is he your type? Well, I was thinking of something else, but it just flipped my, out of my mind. Um, <laughs> it did. It just flipped. Well, um, possibly. Possibly. Yeah. What's possibly? What? Explain. Well, I'd have to know more about him. Mm, okay. Okay. So on the physical, though, it, it could be. It Maybe. Okay. Now, what about you? Is she someone that's your type? Uh, it could be, yeah. Could I can be. see that. See all of the could be's. Okay, sounds good. Let's walk on down to uh, another that could have been, but pop the balloon. Name, age, and why you popped. Hi, my name is Henri, and I'm 64. It's nice to meet you. Nice How are you? You too. Good. Um, I popped because I have two dogs, two Shih Tzus, oh. and they don't they don't shed, but they're like my best buddies, Chester and Buster. So. Yeah. Um. I wish it was different. You know, as I said, it's just allergy. Otherwise, I I, I totally like understand. Pets. My daughter has allergies. She can't be around them. But I mean, they're with me. She doesn't live with me. So I see. <laughs> All right. Now, before uh, you pop, is he someone that's your type? I wouldn't. I don't have like a physical type. Mm -hmm. um, I go by a vibe and like uh -huh. what the inside of the person is. He's got a great smile, but um, I don't know. I think I might be a little bit overwhelming for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you mean by overwhelming? Um, he looks like he might like somebody a little tamer. He might like me for fun, but I think in a serious relationship, he might be looking for somebody tamer. Is she correct about that? Yes, you nailed it. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Yeah, it might be too hard for me. That's okay. All right. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Uh, name, age, and why you popped. Okay, I'm Linda. I'm 60. Hi, Linda. Um, I popped because 
Um, he mentioned a lot of personality traits that he doesn't like. I happen to have them. I'm a great cook. I'm very neat. However, real relationships don't aren't established on that kind of a foundation. It's more about the values that people have. And so that, that was a real red flag for me. And I thought the same thing. He's a bit staid. Mm. And I'm very... Well. Uh, you know, I don't look it, but I'm a rebel. Easy. Yeah, <laughs> I am. And, and You definitely look like a rebel. <laughs> what do you mean you don't look it? You are, all y'all are rebels. Rebellious. Against traditional values. What do you mean? And I tend to attract those staid types. Mm. And, and yeah, look, look at this right here. Look at this. Like no, no, no. It's like no, well, yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't be a, and I didn't feel the attraction okay, either. So not your type. No, okay, no. no. Well, she still thinks she's young. That's that's her problem. She thinks she's young. You wash, lady. You've been through the spin cycle. This is a wrap for you. You don't. Hey, listen. You don't have to be with any of these, but. I'm telling you, these guys, when it comes to the dating market, are more valuable than they are. They don't have to be there. None of them. Not one of these guys that came up with, had to be there at all. Not one. They lined up. They went up there to give these women some hope and they still being picky at their age. This lady's done. She's finished. You know, maybe 40 years ago, she, you know, she had something going on. Now you're done. All of them, maybe all of them 40 years ago may have some going on when, when, when they had a chance. Yet you, you finish. You're 40 years too late to get it right. And you're talking about this guy's not attractive. That guy's not attractive. You shouldn't care about his looks at this point. You should be happy he has a heartbeat. That's it. His heart is beaten. That's it. He's able to still move. He can talk. You should be able you should be happy he has some brain activity. That's it. Because ain't nobody else checking for you. Well, I'm I'm taller. sorry to hear that. I was didn't mean to come across that way. I mean, I definitely values was important to me too, but you know, just uh, maybe I should have said it a little bit differently. <laughs> but thanks for the feedback. That's good to know. Is she someone that's your type? Uh, maybe. 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 What's the maybe? What could have made her for sure? Well, um, I, I think she said, you know, she's a good cook. So mm. well, that's <laughs> part of that. Part of it. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that she's a rebel, you know, I, I see potential for doing some fun things together. Mm. So, but with Henri, but, <laughs> but there was. <laughs> Well, well, she was a little bit too hot. Oh, a little too rebel. Oh, I see. Less rebellious, but still. Oh, got it. Okay. Makes sense. Let's keep moving. Name, age, and why you popped. My name's Patrice. I'm 65. Hi, Patrice. I was giving you a whole bunch of chances, and you lost it on the no cats and dogs. Because oh. Claritin, or not do a commercial, but there's allergy medicine out there. And I have friends. It's sometimes diet, and, you know... I, my cat sleeps in the bed with me, and she has her dirty, nasty. Your cat sleeps in the bed with you, nasty, nasty. Why? Give the get a cat the cat his own bed. They got cat beds out there. They believe just because cats clean themselves, right? That it's okay for them to be in a pet. No, you know what a cat would do? A cat will go into the, you know, to the kitty litter, do his business, right? 
and then jump into the bed. Kitty litter, particles all over the cat. Cat feces, little particles all on the bed. It's nasty. It's real nasty. No, no, no. As her, she, she would have to pass the cat test. And then the other thing, you don't cook at all. Now, I could teach you to cook. But do you like to take people and go to nice restaurants? No. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> you know, I should have mentioned that. Because yeah, and and then fun things together. You know, obviously we'll be going to a restaurant and and, and such like that. Uh, know, that's that's good. Food, that's you know? good because yeah. you know I'm not the greatest cook, and, I, and and cooking is fun to do together. And maybe right, I could sure. teach you. But if you don't cook, we could go out to dinner. But you don't like the cats. Well, I mean, you're. It's not that you don't like, and you're allergic, and yes. that would be a big. If you yeah. couldn't get a some kind of pill to prevent that, it, yeah, then I get hooked up to a medicine which I don't want to. Well, that you won't, exactly. Yeah, yeah we no, exactly. you know, don't want to do that. Okay, now was he someone? What is he someone that's your type? Mm -hmm. He could be, but I waste a lot of money on makeup and other silly. Look at this! Look at this face right here! Look at this! Talking about. This is crazy. That the, the look at the you're done, man. You're done. The makeup. Look, look at this make. You're done. You're done. It's finito for you. And you talking about yeah, anyway, let's go. Let's go. Stuff. <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, but you can't tell me how I spend my own money, so. That, that is true. Yeah. Now, is she someone that's your type? Um, not really. Okay, uh, why not? Well, it's, I don't know, the, 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 I didn't feel like the chemistry. Mm, so, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's okay. You got to feel that chemistry. Yeah, got to. Yeah. Let's move forward. Let's go a little forward next. Uh, name, age, and why you popped. Uh, Liz, at 67, I just popped because uh, when you said about being neat, I mean, I'm, cl I, I'm a clean person, but when someone says that, that, that to me, that's sort of like a red flag, like uh -oh. you're too neat, you know. A red flag. First of all, look, look, look at her. You could tell. You could, you could, you could just tell her place is just not up to par. You could just tell. But first of all, if a person says neat, that's what you that's how you take it as somebody's too neat, your place should be neat. Your place should be neat. The floor shouldn't be dirty. The bed should be made. Dishes should be washed. Your place should be neat. Shouldn't be clothes all over the place. They should be folded and put away. That's what an adult house look like. It should be neat. Oh, and then if you come over to my place, you'll like, oh, you need to clean this, you need to clean that. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You dirty? Are you filthy? She. I don't like guys that do that. No, no, I'm not. I'm not a compulsive type. Uh -huh. but, you know, obviously, you know, I'm. I'm thanks for sharing how you felt about it, the word I mentioned, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I, I see where I, it becomes a turnoff when I yeah, kind mentioned of, that no, word. No, no, yeah, because no. like, I'm like, oh my God, is he going to make, you know, if we go out together and he comes to my place, he's going to make me get on my knees and clean, no, you know, I was no, like, no, 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 we don't do those kind of no. things anymore. How she turned it, look how she turned it into, I'm telling you, this that liberal side of things, it's the liberal side of things, he said neat. She turned it to him asking her to get on her knees and clean. What do you, what do you think he's going to tell you? Get on your knees and scrub the floor just because he said neat? Telling you they're done. They're done. Uh, that is true. That is. True. Is he someone that's your type? Uh, honestly, I would say like maybe 95% uh, type. Yeah. The five percent was the neat thing that kind of that, that kind of just threw me right there. Yeah. Those are like little red that threw you. So ninety five percent he's good, but it's the five percent of him saying you have to be neat. That's the problem. See, 
what y'all need to understand when y'all be looking at these videos of these younger women that's out of their mind who you think they got it from who y'all think they got it from they didn't just wake up and was crazy they got the crazy from these these individuals red flags to me yeah. so is she someone that's your type uh i i can see you know a potential there you know it seems like uh she has like sparks in her eyes mm -hmm. and it's a fun person and, and thank, nice you. Smile. thank so, you thank you yeah thank you love that we give it a try okay know? all right well no nah, we can't now the heart's gone but let's move on back some it's okay oh oh all right oh, man. had a little pop there uh oh, you were holding on so a uh, name age and why you popped I'm over 50, Stacy, and okay. um, I was waiting for him to say something that would be more appealing to me. And I was waiting for him to say that he could hire a cook. Oh. Mm -hmm. And if he's an architect, yeah. <laughs> I would imagine that they make enough money to hire a cook and please everybody. And this is the reason why they're bums. This is the reason why they got to work to the sun burnout. If he has a woman, why would he hire a cook when you're there? So you expect him that to build stuff, right? But you can't cook? You expect him to fix things around the house, pick up things? But you can't cook. You want him to hire a cook just because the money is there well, well let, let's see what he got to say to that what? is that something you ever considered if i could afford it <laughs> got it yeah and they probably don't even understand that they like wait a minute he's an architect what do you mean he can't afford it they probably don't even understand that part as men, we understand what he means, what he's saying. As as earners, as earners, we understand what he's talking about. See, how we look at money is totally different. How they look at money, that's why they're always usually in a bind. If I have fifty thousand dollars put away, right? If I have fifty thousand dollars put away, right? That's $50,000 that don't exist to me. You get what I'm saying? It don't exist. If I have $100,000 put away, $150,000 put it away, that's $150,000 that don't exist to me. I put it away for a reason. It don't exist to me because if it, start, if it exists to me, I'm going to be spending it. I'm going to use it for this. I'm going to use... I'm, we look at it as it don't exist. Therefore... Whatever money we using to pay our bills, whatever money we using to get around, pay, you know, pay for groceries, that's the money that exists. That's the money that's actually the money we have to use to get along, to live. Because if we start looking at the money that we got saved, if we start looking at the money that we have invested as this money that exists, yet you might end up spending it. We look at it like it don't exist. They see that and they look at it and say, wait a minute, you got $150,000. Why don't we use this money, some of that money to pay for this? Why don't we use this money to pay for some of that? We'll tell them, no, we don't have $150,000. We only have this right here to spend on. We only have this right here to work with because they don't understand that type of financial. Uh, they don't understand that fight, uh, financial. Um, that type of financial game. They don't understand that financial setup. They don't understand how to do things like that. They don't understand that in order to make sure that you have some sort of money, you got to come up with ways and come up and practice these ways on how to save and invest. Come up with new strategies. They don't understand these strategies at all on how to invest and save. And that's how you end up being old with some money. No. You know what they look at? Hey, you have some money. Since you have it, why don't you buy it? Why don't you pay for a cook? And that's the reason why they're cooked. 
I mean. Uh, so before he, yeah. did not, you were holding on. So he is someone that's your type, maybe? No, but uh, it's what's inside that counts. And I was yeah. waiting for the, the mental, not, um, you know, the thought process mm -hmm. of yeah. wanting to please a lady and um, uh, meet somewhere to. I was that please. You can't cook. I don't cook. But let's get a cook. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you God, buy Is she cook? someone that's your type? Um, if you don't want to cook, how about this? If you don't want to cook, why don't you pay for the cook? Not, 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 not really, to be honest. Why not? Uh, I don't know. It just kind of uh, felt like she wasn't as friendly as uh, the other lady. Mm. And uh, the first impression, again, this is based okay. on all first impression. I may be all wrong. Impression. So that that basically was it you know yeah. i wasn't sure where we're gonna go with this in, in, in case you didn't pop the balloon first yeah yeah so. <laughs> i understand uh well it looks like let's walk on back some because it looks like all of the balloons have uh, all the hearts have been popped all the real ones have uh, um, said uh not so much but you still are a real one can we still yeah. clap it up for this real one thank you, thank you so much i'm heartbroken but you it'll know, be okay you have to go with the flow maybe we'll have you back on a future episode okay. but i'll take that for you thank you so much clap it up one more time for eric as he heads out that way, head on out that way. Thank you so much, Eric. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, folks. Let's get ready for our next real one. All right, let's bring out our next real one. Come on in. Come on in, you handsome real one. And perfect. And you can stand right there for me. How's it going today? Oh, fine. Could you tell us your name, your age, and what you do? Yeah, my name is Cheng. Oh, uh, my age is 65. I was doing uh, some banking job, and uh, right now I'm retired. Mm, very good. Okay. Banking. Banking job. Very <laughs> yeah, good. Banking. Okay. <laughs> now tell us this. What are you looking for in a real one? What are you looking for? Um, most, yeah, everybody's very pretty. Yeah, but, um, you know, I'm looking for some decent, some, uh, you know, manner and uh, nice looking. I didn't. Looking for that much, but it's not specific enough. We'll get there. Okay. That's specific enough. Sorry. Why? Tell us some more, though. He, what he, else he, are you looking for? Yeah, you just then, got uh, there. A little more kindness and, uh, you know, easy, easy talk. And maybe we have to uh, enjoy my uh, any activity together if she like it. Like, uh, I like uh, tennis, jogging, swimming. Mm. If she like those kind of activity, yeah. Uh, it'll be f welcome to join me. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're going to ask one more question before we go to our pop balloon. Uh, what are some of your red flags? Things that if the your partner does these in a relationship, it's a no go for you. Um, for me, I'm not that specific to the red flag. But but thing is, that she, if she talk too much, I don't like it. And <laughs> and, <laughs> and then and. Uh, she, uh, if she asked me, uh, keep, oh, why don't honey, we go to shopping, we go to do, have dinner, to m so I don't like that kind of stuff. Mm. I just stay with her, <laughs> doing something, with, with the, you know, you know, come on, watching movie, talking, walking, those kind of stuff, I'm, re I can, I'm okay with it, but too much asking, you spend the money, uh, it's, it's too much headache for me. I already have a good experience for that. Oh, I, say, I hate that. Okay. All right. Well, we did get some pop balloons. Let's come on over and see why their hearts were popped. Let's start right here. Name, age, and come on in just a little for me. Come on in. That's perfect. Name, age, and why you popped. My name is Sharice. I'm over 65. And the reason I popped was that you weren't specific enough in, to me in what you were looking for in a woman. That's not my problem. <laughs> I don't have any specific <laughs> thing in my mind, but, you know, it, it's, first thing. He said, that's not my problem. <laughs> Impression is more very important to me because uh, when I see the person for the first time, you got some feeling. That's very important to me, but I don't have any specific, you have to be just like that, you have to be just like that. It's like a feeling. So I can even express what is it, but I, I have, you know, from your heart. So it's just gonna stop, you know. So. Now before he was, didn't specify enough, maybe just based on physical appearance, is he someone that's your type? Well, before I answer that, I just want to say, I don't, when it comes to being specific, I don't mean you have to be picky about this, this, and that. Just kind of like, you know, what you're looking for. You're looking for someone that loves sports. Or you're look, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, what was the question? Uh, is he someone that's... <laughs> I hear what you're saying, though. You 
wasn't paying attention. Want want people to pay attention. Why? I mean, in this general, is, this is just exactly. <laughs> is he someone that could be your type before? You know, he didn't specify. Just based on physical appearance, could he be someone that's your type? Yeah, because he's not overweight. Mm, you don't like him chunky. I used to, but I gave that up. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> okay. Now, is she someone that could have been your type or be your type? Uh, you heard him. Mm, you don't like him chunky. I don't think so. Uh, Why not? Uh, because she popped a ball on first. <laughs> right, right. What about what about based on just attraction? Initial. Yeah, you, know, you said they're all very pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's okay. She's okay. But well, she went from pretty to okay. Has a different, you know, you know, you know, spec. So mm. um, she's okay. She's very pretty, but. Uh, it's not, she's not my type. Got it. Not your type. Okay, let's move on down. Let's move on down. Uh, we had a few more pop balloons here. Uh, name, age, and why you popped. I'm Linda. I'm 60. I popped for several reasons. Um, most of all, when he said he's a homebody, you know, doesn't like someone going out, and I'm very social. I have, a, I have friends. I like doing a lot. I have a lot of activities. I'm very active. I'm not into the retirement thing. I won't be for 15 years at least, and I'm not a homebody. Because you have to continue to work. 15 years. She's, she's not trying to retire. She'll be in her 80s. She'll be in her 80s. Talking about she's not retired. She'll be in her 80s. Literally work, working until the sun, until the sun burns out for them. She'll be an octogenarian by then. Nasty work, man. Nasty work. Very nasty work. They think they have options in their sixties. She'll think she'll have options in in her eighties. She's bugging. So, um, but no, he he wouldn't be my tie. He doesn't make good eye contact, and he's I like tall men, five eleven and up. Just like you. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. I'm just the host, though. I can't. I can't take her home. I wish. Uh, but now, is she someone that's your type? Uh, yeah, she's okay. But uh, as you said, I'm not the homeboy. I'm a. I'm a. I'm homebody. A homebody. You are a homeboy. Yeah, 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 homebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, but, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I, I spend the, the time in outside with the social with somebody. But thing is, some woman keep asking me spend money with me. So it's just like, hey, honey, why don't you go out there buying? That, that even doesn't need me. We don't need those kind of stuff, but she keep asking those kind of stuff. It's, we call it shopaholic, something like that. But I'm not, I'm not saying you are those kind of type, but you know, it's kind of the same you know, spectrum category, something like that, so. Mm -hmm. Relationships usually involve money because there's a high that's rate true. of return. Har <laughs> R-O-I. Right, you true. yield a lot as a man. Yeah, She's teaching us some finance. Okay. Yeah, Very good. She don't make no Let, sense. Let's move Wait. forward. Uh, I will ask that in a moment. Hold um, on. I can ask now. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, I, I spend the, the time in outside with the social with somebody. But thing is, some woman keep asking me spend money with me. So it's like, hey, honey, why don't you go out there buying? That, that even doesn't need me. We don't need those kind of stuff, but she keep asking those kind of stuff. It's, we call it shopaholic, something like that. But shopaholic. I'm not, I'm not saying you are those kind of type, but, you know, it's kind of the same you know, spectrum category, something like that. So mm -hmm. Relationships usually involve money because there's a high that's rate true. of return. R <laughs> R O I. All right, that's true. You yield. Then, if that's the case, where's the return at? For the guys that you've been dating. You've been dating for 40 plus years. Where is it at? Where is it at? There's no money. Who's spending money on a 60 something year old woman? They, nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. Not Brad. Brad's not doing it. 
Lee Lee's not doing it. And I can bet you that the woman that he was spending money on that he got tired of doing was a younger woman. And when I mean younger, probably in her thirties, probably maybe in her twenties, but probably in her thirties, not in her sixties. Nowhere in her sixties. They're lost. This, they're done, man. They're done. And look at Ozzy Davis over here. Just laughing away. It's not a game, y'all. This this is the last guy, black uh, black men. What's happening, black men? I, that, first of all, salute the black men. You know, usually I don't do uh pop pop the balloons on Brad and Lee's and, and Becky's. Usually I don't do that, but I just want to show y'all the liberal side of things. When you look at the liberal side of Brad and Becky, they're very, they're very gone, man. They're very gone. They're done. And look at Keisha over here. She, she loves following Becky. They're done. Then you're not up here. You're not up here looking for husbands. You, uh, you can't be serious if you're up here looking for husbands that's going to provide for you at, in your 60s. That's, del that's crazy. And you notice how they always say about black men not wanting to spend no money? No, it's all. You you heard Brad. Brad, is a, uh, he's an architect, right? He's an architect, and he's not trying to spend no money on no cook. He's not trying to spend no money for a cook, right? He's not trying to spend no money. You got Lee over here as a banker who's not trying to spend no money. Dudes is just not spending money. It's just not doing it. They're not doing it no more. And the ones that haven't been doing it, those are the ones that seem to get, that, that seem to got it right from the first, from who seemed to got it right from the beginning? Don't spend no money. For what? You bugging if you spend money. Don't spend a dime. But the only reason why I'm doing this is to show the liberal side of things is insane. Me, I look at Republicans and, and liberals, the you know, Democrats, I look at them as two sides of the same coin. The only reason why the Democrats are, are worse, a little worse, is because they're the ones that have been receiving our vote, but haven't given us nothing for it at all. And that's changed. But I just wanted to show you the liberal side of Becky, the liberal side of Keisha. The liberal side of things. And Keisha is is liberal to the core. You know, it, it's really no the it's really no traditional Keisha versus liberal Keisha. Keisha is just liberal, right? But when you look at Becky, right? Becky as as a when you look at her as a collective they don't normally move like this. They really don't normally move like this, right? It's just on the Democratic side, the liberal side, they move just like this. They move just like this on the liberal side. They, they move just like this. They move just like this. Nasty. And guess, and guess who they have following them? Keisha. Build a lot as a man. She's teaching us some finance. Okay. Very good. Let, let's move forward. Uh, I will ask that in a moment. This is um, crazy. I can ask now. Come on up with me just a little more. Real quick question. Random. Have you ever been married? Yes. Okay. That's why I'm uh, single right now. I don't want to spend the money that much. <laughs> so is that why the marriage didn't work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well then. Okay. Well, uh, these old. are old women expecting men to spend money. This is insane. We'll go forward and back, uh, but let's start here. Name, age, and why you popped. My name, <clears throat> excuse me. My name's Patrice. I'm 65. Ooh, and same age. Oh. Yeah, was, that was a good one right there. Same age. Right. But I would probably drive you nuts because I'm a little hyperactive and I have lots of stories that always end up longer than they should be. So I talk a lot. Uh, and I, I can be chill. And then, oopsie, she brought up a point. You should be looking at me right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you something. Black men show their women the most respect out of all of these races. Black, I mean, uh, excuse me. Uh, let me take that. Black men, excuse me, not black women. Uh, black men, black men show their women. Did I say black men? I'm not sure. Black men show their women, the women that they that's supposed to be theirs, more respect than any other race of men. Black men show black women so much more respect than Brad shows Becky, so much more respect than Lee shows uh uh um uh oh wow <laughs> Ling Ling <laughs> Ling Ling I, I'm I'm uh, you know I I'm I'm so tired I needed to do this you know, I got a whole bunch of, I've been, I've been doing so much today, but I felt like I need to do this. So, you know, call it a little brain freeze. But, you know, uh, when it comes to Lee and Ling Ling, right? And when it comes to Raj and Marrakesh, right? Black men show so much respect to them, right? They didn't even understand. They didn't even understood how much respect was shown to them until they, until they started disrespecting black men and thought they can go out there and get better. Though they thought they to go out there and actually experience better, which they're not, right? But if you ask every other race of women that deal with their men, right, they'll tell you that they don't get nearly, nearly as much as cooperation as from from their race of men than black women get from black men that's why the cdc said that black men are the most involved fathers look how he's dealing with he's not even looking at them he's not even looking at them they had to say something in order for he wasn't even looking at their face he wasn't looking at their eyes he didn't want to hear nothing they had to say He's not even looking at them. And rightfully so, though. Rightfully so, but still. He don't look. Let me tell you something. Lee don't look at his women as equal to him at all. And guess what? The women are fine with that. That's why he's not looking them in the eye. He looks at them as they're beneath him. You got to look at the person who's speaking. Oh, I, 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 I'm looking at the ceiling. Oh, oh, that part of the ceiling's not speaking. Oh, I'm speaking to oh, you. Yeah, I'm and like I said, yes, I, I like yes, you. you're not too short. because I do like him tall, but you're taller than me and you look fit. But like I said, you can see I'm chatting away here. I'd probably drive you absolutely nuts. And But it is a big thing. You, no, okay. There you, there you go. Okay. Yeah, because okay. the eyes are the soul in the communication. If, okay. you're, if you're side-eyeing, I mean, what are you hiding? You can't I'm not look. hiding. That means I don't like it. Oh, don't like exactly. It. Exactly. <laughs> not hiding. It means I don't like it. Oh, look at, look at, look at Keisha over here. Oh, Keisha with the buckeye. She... She's bucking her eyes. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. With the Ozzy Davis. Look me in the eye and tell me that. I, 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 I don't know. I'm just joking. But, but so that's a, because the warmth comes. See, now you're looking at me and I can see your nice eyes, nice smile. But, you know, things to work on. But like I said, Chat, chat will drive you cuckoo. <laughs> right. Now, uh, 
is was before those things were said or was he someone that's your type well there was a lot with the physique yeah. and you know got the hair going and he's got a good <laughs> smile and la he likes laughing yeah. but he doesn't keep the eyes the eyes need to oh, be here because okay. look at this yeah. Focusing on your eyes, right? That's what you need, right? Eyes, uh, and okay. you can check it out. <laughs> now, is she someone that's what else, your man? type? Just... Uh, I can keep looking at you just like that. <laughs> so, I don't think so. Mmm, <laughs> okay. We won't go deeper on that or I might cry. Let's move forward some. Uh, name, age, and why you popped. Liz, 67. Uh, I, because one, the eye contact is really important. I, I know, but we, we, we convinced you to do it. We convinced you to do this. Now you realize, now when you next time you go on a date, you're going to be looking at her instead of looking oh, sure. at somewhere else. I keep my mind. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Shut up, Ralph Cramden. Nobody cares about what you got other, to say. Uh, you know, were you married? Yeah, I said. Yeah. He, he was, just how said long it. were you married for? Um, 10 years. And why did you break up? He said I it. Told you the money. He did break up. He d yeah, because it ended. The marriage ended. The, oh, it just ended? He said yeah. because of... Yeah, yeah, spent too much money. I don't oh, like so, it. So, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, just basically, I, you know, I, you know, there's give and take in relationships, and I, I feel like it would be more only your way instead of both ways. Is she right about that? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you for the honesty. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh... Like, before any of that, is he someone that could be your type? He could have been. He could have been. But then when he started talking about, you know, the money factor, it's like, you know, something like that should be later on in a relationship, not right away. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not focusing on the money fact. But the thing is, life is, marriage life is different. We have to make a living together, right? So, uh... In some limited income I have, uh -huh. some budget, we have something like that, right? Right. So, but some lady, and uh, they don't think about that much. They just want to spend first, and then I fill it up. It keeps going on and off. Okay, I, I see where you're coming from. Work. I see where you're coming from, but yeah. I mean, so, I'm not like that. That's what so. I mean. Yeah. Well, you're not like that. Did you possibly want your balloon back, or your... No. <laughs> All right. Let's walk it on back. We did get more pop balloons. Let's stop right here with this lovely lady. Name, age, and why you pop. Hello, my name is Henri, I'm 64. And I, I popped because you were talking about the money thing. And we're a couple, I could have my own money and not be asking you to spend it all the time. Oh, it is fine, like, but in a marriage life, it's not like that. Did you get married before? No. You see, you don't know what the marriage is before, is it, right? <laughs> what the life is, it, right? If once you're getting together, it's- 64, never been married, up here, Looking, a, looking for a date. Nasty. Same house, same living. We have to have a shares everything. Most of, not everything, but money is money. So we, you need some money for making living together. But if income is not enough, we have to make a plan and we have to make a schedule on this, right? So how do you know that the income's not enough? I might make more money than you do. Oh, in that case, I don't have any complaint. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was just that I really like the way you look. You got a great yeah, smile. Yeah. And guess what? I really don't mind that you don't have eye contact because you have an eye contact with me. And I think maybe you just need somebody that, you know, you think deserves eye contact because you haven't stopped staring at me one time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a real loser. <laughs> what a real loser, right? She didn't have to throw, she didn't have to, to, to throw, throw shade as, as they, as they say, right? She didn't have to throw shade at those other women like that. That was, that was very nasty, right? She just really tried to belittle, belittle these women and she's in the same boat. But just because he looks at you, you feel special. You feel special because Lee looked at you? This is the Brad worship, Hector worship, Lee worship I be telling y'all about. Black men probably been looking at her for 40 years. And she ain't never looked at the other women and said, he's looking at me because of this. 
because it's no, no, no. But because Brad look, I mean Lee's looking at you. You make it a big spectacle. You make a big deal out of it and think that he's looking at you because he respects you more. He's looking at you because he sees something more. No, he's looking at you because just like the old lady before you, the other old lady, they let it be known. That's why he's. That's why he's looking. Because they said something about it. Not because he's interested in you. They're crazy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask, is she someone that's your type? Uh, I don't think so. Exactly. <laughs> you couldn't keep your eyes off of her. Because I like a butterfly. <laughs> butterfly. That's my thing. Butterfly. Now, you kind of already said it, but he could be looked. someone that's your type. He he could be somebody that's my type. I, I think he, you know, I think they kind of like overjudge the eye thing because he hasn't. And maybe they got you got trained because they told you. <laughs> so, I look, so that could be I'm it. Too. Oh, yeah. I should look at and that's guys. a good thing. That's a good thing. But overall, yes, very well put together. Thank I like you. the fact that he likes to do a lot of things outdoor. He never said he was a homebody. He said he likes to swim. Uh, tennis, golf, do, tennis and everything. And, John, so, and I'm a good listener. Right. So. Tennis is Something to, she's not by into. Yeah. So I can't Remember, play tennis anymore. She don't like <laughs> the move. The pickleball. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's good. So thank you. Thank you. Got it. Let's walk on back. We did have one more pop. Uh, name, age, and why you pop. I'm over 50, Stacy. And why did I pop? Oh. Well, he's a very nice person. He seems very, very affable and very, she very nice and kind thank and very shy. Um, but there was too much focus on money, and to me, it should be um, <laughs> money is no object. If you want it, and I have it, you can have it. I, uh, because I, I'm yeah, I, they're done, man. They, they're finished. They, first of all, salute, salute. This is the end of the video. That you know, this is the end of it right here. Let me let me play the rest of it. It's it's this the end of it. Like that? No, if he he should be. <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm like, uh, maybe, hey. maybe. I've been working long time in the financial field. He might take on the Disney for look somebody. at the money. Yeah, but but you know, frankly, the money is a fact for life. I'm not saying I'm just all oh, money is everything, but. When you make a make a living, you need money. I agree, but um, there are poor people who love each other, and if somebody wants something and if they have the money, it's yours. So it's a matter of shit. What, what do you, what does that have to do with it? And that's how poor people stay poor. Shut up. You don't know what she she don't know what she's talking about. Listen, they're done. They're finito. They're washed. They're delusional. And this this really goes on. Really, really, if you really was a supporter of KS, and still it still is, still still support this content. If you really watch this content, right? This is exactly what he was talking about. This right here. This, this what he was talking about. They're done. It's it's the upper room alone. But anyway, what do y'all think about this? I'm back. I'm back. It's back to it. Um, you know the host. The host did his thing. the 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 host was funny. Was engaged. He wasn't doing too much. He wasn't extra, you know, like the, the, um, you, you know, like the, the remember the Jamaican ones, they was extra, right? Just extra for, for no reason, just being extra, you know, every, every five minutes telling people after, after somebody leave, telling people to like, and subscribe. If they like it, they'll subscribe, it, it, you know, they'll like and subscribe, uh, you know, being extra, you know, asking ridiculous questions you know, trying to be funny themselves. They was just doing too much. You know, every time, the, you know, the, the African one, remember the African one? They just being extra. You know, he wasn't being extra at all. Had the perfect demeanor for this uh, for this type of uh, content right here as far as pop, pop the balloon. And, and he should do more of these. 
These were an eye opener. These were very much of an eye opener of these old women and their standards, which is insane. But anyway, salute, salute, salute. Uh, I'm back, and we back to it. Peace.